Welcome to Social Sessions. Today we are privileged to have Joe Steele, the innocent man who was wrongly convicted of a terrible multiple murder, notoriously named the Ice Cream Wars. As an individual, his life became entangled in the complexities of the legal system and the political outcry from many of the supporters this case had. We will dive deep into the life of Joe himself, talk about his amazing talent of escapism, we will hear about prison stories and how the case not only left a long-lasting effect on Joe but the whole of the East End of Glasgow, in fact the whole of Scotland is one. This is certainly one of the most notorious miscarriages of justice's case in Europe and Joe is here to tell Social Sessions all about it and speak more than he ever has done before. Welcome to Social Sessions, Joe. How are you? Pleased to be here, so, yeah, Sean, thanks. I'm fine. Um, so obviously, like, your case is one of the, the kind of biggest cases that we would, um, Scotland's certainly ever seen. I would probably argue Europe. Um, we'll go to, just take you back, I always start back, uh, taking you back to your history, right, Joe? So how, what was it like for you growing up? Like, when, 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 was Gathamlock went to, was it Gathamlock? I met a Gathamlock, Sean, when I was six. Uh, I was born in Camptown. Uh, I was actually born in Tommy's dad's house, Tommy Campbell's dad's Aye. house. Yeah. So, obviously growing up as a kid in Glasgow and all that, obviously like, I know that your dad was kind of, uh, he was a villain, do you know what I mean? He was a kind of mm -hmm. bank robber and stuff. What was it like growing up in that kind of uh, atmosphere and that environment? Yeah, it's perfect, honestly. Uh, I, I had a, a great chill with my mother and my family and all that. My dad, my dad was an arse and my dad was, I didn't like my dad. Aye. I didn't like my dad. Was, it, 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 uh, my, my, my sister and my ma mother, he treated well, but her boys not. He was just, he, he was an animal. Aye. An animal. What do you think, think that was due to kind of the life he led, Joe? People used to say, oh, it's probably all the years in the jail and this and that. Uh, uh, it's not to make me happy, he's not my mother. I didn't watch for me, Sean. So he's kind of Tamper with veins and all that, right. and they, they get pulled, they get done, and they go, Oh, my dad did that to me, and that's all pish. My dad gave me some fucking dunes, right. uh, Mel Uh and I always swore blind, I'd never ever lift my hands to my kids. I've right. had kids and whatever, and my kids are, I've never raised my hands to my kids. I, I know you're like the mm -hmm. everybody in Gathamlock's uncle, ain't you? I've got the, um, uh, the... Even guys at 30, Uncle Joe. <laughs> yeah, nah, my dad was. Well, only I could really say about him is a spec for it, it, it basically toughened us up because the fucking doings again he had to tough us. I, I feared nobody other than my dad Aye. in my life, then that was it. And did that set you up, obviously, like, because I know, obviously, like, in your younger life, you started going to approved schools and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So, um, obviously, these are tough environments and all, but obviously, with that upbringing, was that kind of you weren't really scared of these places then? It was like a kind of you were just kind of like. Or what, or what, was it, what was it? What was it like? Man, like what was that, these environments like? These kind of young institutions were they? The first, the first, uh, first ever institution on it was uh, Lark's Grove, on Edinburgh Road, just on the road to us, and I'd heard all these places, and I just I'd get down to visit the gym that you'd wear short trousers and right. all that thing, mate, and you could see what what kind of place we were. But I go around for years anyway, Sean. I was a kid all the way through. Uh, school, proof school, everything. Uh, I'll, I'll go to people to look my brass. That's all I ever go with, whether it be my social worker, coppers, or anything. That's all I ever heard. Aye. You'll end up in people who's got your brass. And I go to this when I was fucking eight or nine. Aye. You know what I mean? So taking you back to like that when you're like eight, nine year old and stuff like that, and uh, did you just kind of fall into that environment then just because of that? Like, was that just the way? You, did, you, did, they, did you get treated like that because your brothers and stuff like that? Do you think they kind of. Just thought, oh, you were the same kind of thing, and that kind of took you into that environment. Uh, pro, uh, well, probably well, everyone in my, my family, brothers and uh, my dad, we'd all been through through schools like old boss. It was fucking right, but I never ever asked to go there. I never ever wanted to be. But but it turned me into. I was just a wee boy, fucking flying dudes and whatever. Right. And my doors kept going with poles coming from my dad and this and that. And they were all fitted up and. Thing we don't. In these days, nobody believed it. You, you accused a cop of saying, you know, whatever. People fucking thought you were mad or they just mm -hmm. didn't want to believe it. But they've been doing it for mega fucking sick. They've been doing it for decades and decades before I was fucking born. Aye. I mean, I've been in about a dozen guys and each jail was in, uh, a lot of them guilty. Aye. But it doesn't mean to say that they fat them up. Aye. Do you know what I mean? No, no. I mean, there's obviously millions but, of cases that, 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 that show now, Joe. But, people think it's changed. I, I, I certainly don't think so, but. Well, all the way I, I think it was changed is uh, 
it, it's not through any fault of fucking covers changing. It's your DNA, it's your, your friends, it's all that Aye. kind of stuff. And they've got cameras now, they're even fucking shot each other. Aye. Because, you know what I mean? I uh, there's no cover ups anymore. Not just to say that you can't still wear be in the back of a motor or, or here or there. Do you know Aye. what I mean? But I think it's getting, it's, it's getting, thing we do. But I'll always, be, I'll always make mistakes anyway. Aye. And always people end up in prison. You just need to see, you've been there, Sean, you've I been doing your life on that. You were in a fucking cell. I know. Same as myself. There's a lot of people in there. It's not got the people we had behind us. Mm -hmm. are, it only needs one person to listen. One person. Whether it's that last, if you look much over this fucking mm -hmm. person behind me, that's all we need. I knew if somebody ever listened to my case, that I would clear my name. I knew it only Aye. to get somebody to listen. But it was hard, hard for them to, at the beginning. No, I know. And I think um, looking at, I mean, if if even just we we because obviously we kind of try and show how these environments like turn you into what something that you know and something that you toughen up and just mm. even looking back, I'll even ask you a question. See the guys that you were in the approved schools, not that way. How many of them are still here? Hmm. I was on my approved school, big Mike Skelly goes there, so Mike's my pal for school and everything. I know, Mike's God, no God here. bless Mike. Hey. Uh, Don's no here. There's a lot of a lot of pals. Yeah. Gary Moore, I know it wasn't everybody's cup of tea. But it was my pal, Aye. he's no here, Tommy's no here. Aye. Fucking, I'm, there's only two is left out of the ice cream, fucking carry on. Aye. The so-called ice cream, well, name, no, I mean, there's two is left. And if I could ask you, obviously this is um, a question you might not know, but how many of these guys turn to drugs and stuff like that, Joe? Because obviously I, I believe my, that the prison system creates that hyper-vigilant state that you end up in and when you come back out into the community, it's very hard to reintegrate normally. Uh -huh. So I think people take drugs to kind of cover up what they're going through and I still see it to this day. But, I mean, looking back, even if I take you back, how many of these guys turn to drugs as well? Well, I was one, I'm sure. Aye. I was in uh, similar eight year. I didn't smoke or drink or nothing when I went to prison. Aye. And then... I started, as he, uh, in the adult prison, I started to get involved with, I was assaulting prison officers, governors, cons. Uh, I was never out of cell blocks, I was doing a cell block, dirty protests, I, I'd done it all. You know what I mean? I, I thought it was Jimmy Boyle at the time, you know what I mean? Aye. And uh, and just, apart from all the lock-ups, I had no paper, I couldn't, I didn't know what was happening in the world, I had no papers, no wages, no nothing. I got out, slopped out, behind the door. Aye. Dinner, behind the door. Tea time behind the door, I hope and there's the exercise. I mean, fuck this. So I started throwing crap all over the place, assaulting right. everybody. And then there were five or sixes doing the cell block at that time. Right. I ended up shutting the fucking cell block down. Right. And they did the new in. But they caused all that. No, me, I didn't fucking ask to get in there. Accused no. of horrendous crime like that, do you know what I mean? No, and I'll ask you a quick, I don't know how, how you'll answer this, Joe, but if you were to look at, I try and say, like, even looking at the prison staff and that, and I'm not trying, there's loads of them that are animals, right? Mm -hmm. But they're in there, and I think the environment that, that this prison creates with there, uh -huh. if you, that makes sense, because they need to play a role as well. That's right. And I think it damages them because there's a lot of alcoholism, a lot of officers die young, a lot, a lot of staff are like addicted. Aye. Uh, listen, you're you're putting you're talking about a play, an environment, a place where it's. Fucking double murders, treble murderers, serial killers, mass killers, terrorists. There's everything in there. And you put a guy, we used to kid on Sailor Big Farmers for Peter Heed and this and that, right? right. But you're putting a, a guy for fucking outside Glasgow, uh, which is by the way, and putting him into places like that. And you expect him to go in, right, lock your doors, laddie, shut your doors. You fucking right. get looking hot with pots of shite, they're getting stabbed, they're getting tearing up roofs. Right. Do you know what I mean? It's, and for what? For the fucking money we're getting? I know. It's in very, I mean, obviously, I've said it before, like, coming from Cumbernauld, I got a big shock going into, like, uh, that environment and seeing, like, the kind of Glasgow and the, the kind of Edinburgh, like, they were, the, just how how many um, people were going through that traumatised life, if that makes sense, and going through a life of, like, just what you're talking about your dad, maybe, like, generational kind of crime, where you've probably seen it with guys that you've done time, and then you see their boys, you see their grandsons, uh, did you see stuff like that? Like obviously, yeah. like so. In, uh, all the years in my in my house, uh, my dad's pals, all the stories and that. I'd heard all the names way back for the sixties: Scadger, Bain, fucking uh, Time McGuinness, all the names, Gypsy one, and, and and I grew up with all these names Aye. in my head. Uh, and and even all the ones in Glasgow, the, the ones that were still alive, 
when I went to prison. I ended up in prison with all the guys that I tell all the thing we were away we, when I was away. In. John Duggan, uh, I don't know if you know John was proposal. Man, no, well, John was I. one of the very first to escape for Valenny when it was the old way. It wasn't the way it is now, the big driveway and all that, and fucking car park. Aye. It was a toy field, and you drove up this wee thin road, and it was a green door, a green door you went in. And you, a door in with that, you would get in, and that was that. Well, old John, during the night, came over that fucking gate, which, which wasn't easy, because the screws are in there at night, Aye. the wider than the, the gate, Aye, and, Aye. Through, and came out there, and made his way up to my dad's house, and that's the first I had to tell the old John Duggan. But, uh, and, I'd, I'd, and I'd be around with John, I could fucking write a book about him, and... That handy old guy for his fucking age, I'll tell you. Uh, you know what I mean? I'm just, it's obviously interesting because obviously you were back and like probably the generation before that mm -hmm. I was in, do you know what I mean? So it was like, but what I noticed in prison was just every single person that's in there has got a backstory. Like, and um, mm -hmm. there's no really that, there's no help when, if you want to change and you want that good side and that, because I believe every human. Aye. I mean, I've it, never seen any rehabilitation any prison I've been in in, in the 30, 40 years I've been in fucking no, I agree. institutions. Never. Uh, it's all about fucking containment. Keep me in here, you come to your lib date, you're through it. Aye. No help, no nothing. You're in, institutionalised, like it's between five and seven years. Aye. Right? There's guys, I've done fucking 20, there's guys, you've done 15, there's guys doing all sorts. So, and what, they've never ever once sat down with me and said, uh, how's thing, how's your head or whatever. Yeah. Have you ever had any help, Joel? Has MD ever came to you? Like, obviously, because you were cleared. So, like, obviously, you cleared in the court. Uh, did MD ever come to you and say, look, you're going to need some help reintegrating or anything like that? No, 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 no way. That I've never seen anybody. In fact, you done more for me, so I'm going to make you uh, put one of the guys to help me with my head Nobody's ever came to me. I've had the guys going like even in the jail, Governor used to say to me, but Governor so and so said, you think you're, you're doing 60 days? Wasn't it? I thought I was saying, I knew what I was fucking doing, how long I was doing. Aye. But I had to date my way to get my head through that sentence. No, you got into survival mode, didn't you? Yeah. And I think trying to, um, what's hard is, is is trying to get guys sometimes to get vulnerable because I think guys, especially men that are in that environment, the prison environment, see vulnerability as a weakness. And I don't think, it's not a weakness, it's not what, it's not what I'm trying to say. See, when you try and say, like, these guys are traumatised or this or that, it's how can you be in that environment, right? And I'm this is a, it's not a diss on the prison system because they've, they've got no money, do you know what I mean? They don't get the money today, but they're supposed to, they need today. So I'm not dissing them, but fucking own it, own their system and say, We've well, not got any, like, don't kid on to the public that everybody's getting rehabilitated. That's what annoys me, Joe. I've known anybody be rehabilitated. I know it just makes people worse. Like, um, and then you see young boys coming out, it's a shame you see young boys coming out with addiction problems, you see young boys coming out. Be better He's criminals, right. um, probably more, more shut off because they've put walls up, do you know what I mean? They're more shut yeah, off. Um, but no, it's, it's it's bad. But I'm going to take you now to obviously the kind of infamous ice cream wars, right? Uh -huh. And um, what, 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 do you, what do you even make of that term, ice cream wars? Ice cream wars? There was no ice cream wars, papers or otherwise, until we were convicted. Right, and see on us, I think it's annoyed me more than in the fucking world. Drugs and an ice cream man. You pinch us on, uh, if you want to hear my ass, somebody wanting an ice cream man, right? It's no good clue about nothing, and some fucking bam in the van selling drugs that and she doesn't know about. And a guy goes up and says to her, uh, a double 99 or whatever the fuck we're calling it, a 99 and a wee wink, no, no. <laughs> you know I mean, it just, it's. How the fuck they make these things up? They're, they're clever. These, these coffers are fucking sick to eat, but they're clever. Aye. I don't know, man. Tommy with a game, dot to dot. You ever played that game when you were a kid? Aye. Did he be boxes? Aye. And you put your, your initials in it. We've all played it. But how sick are they fuckers thinking that? They needed something they put on this fucking bogus map that you would find you down the boat in the street where you were going. Aye. Uh, but they needed some like Tommy's name on it. But it's playing X and O. He's great, but he wasn't that. So they put Tommy and Liz. Liz. A mother of fucking four, it was, it couldn't rest in a laurel, she'd run up her feet and they're making her playing games on the back of a so called map that's at the bottom of your street. I know. Come on. No, it's bizarre. And obviously, the, the, the ice cream wars is like something that everybody's kind of got an interest mm. in. There's been documentaries made about mm. it, there's been this and that. But um, I'm just kind of interested to see like how the 
because obviously we've spoke before and the poor guy that killed the poor, poor was it was it was it Andrew Doyle was it Andrew Andrew, Andrew Doyle? No, the, the was was his name Fat Boy? Was that what you... oh, his name was Andrew Doyle? Uh, he was Fat Boy. Once we get convicted and all that, the papers. But see the post. They tell the press. They, uh, uh, the uh, way back in the day, Andrew, when he got the nails, all the snakes. I used to sit and drink with all the, the coppers and get all the information. But the coppers were telling them everything and anything because they've got to. Because they're fitted guys up for so they didn't need any fucking evidence to take us to court. Aye. See the news when we went today. We went away to court, mate. I wouldn't even when go I, to trial. Wouldn't even went to nothing. But uh, so they feed the, the press with all the crap. You know what I mean? Aye. And then they print it. Fat boy, but I've been up there all my fucking life, and not one guy's called him fat boy. Aye. Uh, uh, ice cream was drugs. One you in a stone system, didn't it? And do you think maybe that the the name fat boy, obviously because it was Arthur Thompson's boy, was named fat boy. Do you think it's maybe just sensationalism well, to try and kind of like? I've never even known Arthur to be called fat boy. Aye. Earlier. Aye. You know what I mean? Aye. So, and I know the same covers that fucking fitted, uh, some of the covers that fitted us up, fitted Arthur up when he gets 11 year. Aye. Do you know what I mean? Aye. I'm not saying I've on the red drugs, I don't know the story, but I know he fitted them up anyway. Aye. You know? No, I know what you mean. There, there, there's some guys, like, I had a good pal, um, uh, oh, he's, he's dead now, Clyde, so I can say his name, but Clyde, um, when, uh, he's not a liar, do you know what I mean? And he told me that, uh, basically, he says, like, he says, Sean, I swear to God, I never had, that was like, they put it in my fucking boot. Like, I wasn't it there? And there's no reason for it to lie because he, he, he did, he did, um, I know a fucking thousand bits of it, so I'm not convinced me the guy's lying, I don't even know the guy. Aye. You know what I mean? I I've, know. So when I've done three sentences, for, for cut, man for cutting through a car park, me and my pal, and he says, well, we're breaking into a fucking mud, so I can't drive. And I'll tell him to come in and hang me as a bit of ice cream car on me, so he's opened the door. You drive still a bit? No, I say, that's the first lie you've told. I've never driven my life. I've had three convictions for car theft. We get fitted up, cut through the car park, as soon as driving and uh, get into the driver's motor. You know what I mean? Aye. But uh, fucking corrupt fuckers, man. No, anyway. No, no, and uh, it's obviously, it's de- you can obviously see the rawness, and when you're talking about it, Joe, um, I'm trying to obviously, because uh, I totally understand where you're coming from. It's so sore inside, do you know what I mean? And uh, it's, it's uh, obviously. How how did you feel like obviously even when you get charged with because obviously there was kids and stuff involved right and mm. I know you love kids how how did that feel like when you were actually charged with that? Do you know, do you know what, Sean? I remember Tommy saying you better fucking grow up or you better get your act together. This is for real. I thought because I never done it, I never done it. No, I know. no, I don't know. Day, I, know. I never in a million years. I know they put in my dad, I know they done this, but you're talking about six fucking murders, mass murder, a kid, a whole family, three generations. Uh, so I never in a million years thought I'd be good for that until I was on the trial and I was in the dock and then I seen the whole fucking thing there, and then I knew there was Aye. something that wasn't right, you know what I mean? Aye, when you, you start twigging where you can see where it's going, like you start seeing the evidence changing, you start seeing uh, certain things going missing and um, and it so seems to be... We had, we had some like 28 charges, right? And that was... If I've only got two or one or two charges, it's only ice cream one. Aye. So we had 28 charges between us. Well, I can't remember I had Tommy had this and that. But every fucking charge that they had against us get dropped. Dropped every one. Bar the murder against us and, and, and be odds and ends against the other boys. They're going in three years for fuck all. But every one of the charges were dropped. See, they went to the jury again and we were... Get up to four event before they go to a jury, and so did Tambi. If we they don't went to that jury, and no hang me to be with the, with the judge, just hang me. Every one of us would have been down, and we'd have done, done for 28 charges. Trust me, aye, 28 fucking charges we've done, done for. No, I definitely, and it's it's so see if I can kind of like take you into the kind of trial, right? Um, because many was many was done at the start, sixes. there was sixes, so obviously it ended up with just seven count my grow, but aye. Sixes. So I'll ask you what happened with Tam McGraw. Did he, he obviously he got charged? But what, what actually happened to him? How did how did he get released? Oh, Sean, I don't know that either, Paul. I, I generally didn't even know how that happened. We were all remanded, we were all in a week or two, and he got shouted down. He was making he's got a lawyer. He came back up to the hall and said, uh, I'm getting a PF release. And he was telling me, about it. fucking me, you got a PF. But the rest is. Aye, but they're getting to use them, whatever, they just want to do that door. Aye. And if they get around fucking door, nobody seen them again. So did he get in bail, or did no, they get released? PF release. PF release. Mm-hmm. So, obviously, 
looking at the trial, how did it, how did what was the evidence that they were saying was against you, Joe? What were they what were they saying that was obviously enough to to charge us? Aye. Yeah. I'd been pulling a couple of times in question and whatever. And they we kept the only thing they ever think with me but I think they kept saying to me, Well, why is people saying that you you were involved and uh, women saying uh, they were involved with the fire and why would people say that? Mm -hmm. And I went, I don't fuck it, I'm not involved in it, but and I don't know why they fucking say that. I says it sure is no my mother in law. Kerry don't get me an hang with it. And uh, that was the only other time they ever hang with me said anything mm -hmm. about what, what was people saying it. And then before we knew it, I had a police bear. That was, that was a, a hearsay evidence for a, a fucking bogus guy who was done with drugs uh, and your thumb up. Mm -hmm. His boy was uh, remanded without bail. Uh, Charlie Farley, Charlie Ferguson, the fucking name mm -hmm. is. I'll name a shame because they, they told lies down what he's dead now anyway, old fucker. But anyway, uh, he was done with drugs, his boy, right? And knocked back for bail or the rest of it. And all of a sudden, we're done. His dad is up, forces his mother, and says he, he was a rapper. They tell him half the things they say anyway. He was never even in a fucking pub in his life. Like, I know he was a wheelchair. And uh, his boy got out. Once his boy got out, that was that. Before we know it, we didn't know we go to trial with what, what's in papers. Uh, he said he was in the bar's public house with me, Gary Moore, and a couple of us, and whoever. And he heard a conversation uh, about tossing the Doyles. You know what I mean? And, uh, one minute I'm making out. Told him they're all gangsters and all this and that, and then the next minute they're fucking daft. He's starting in a local pub. Aye. It never happened. The conversation never happened. They weren't in the pub. So you're, you're moving for like, because um, obviously the papers and all that, the way they kind of, kind of portray mm -hmm. these people like as gangsters and this kind of thing, and then the next minute you're making a mistake, like talking in a, a pub about uh, a, a, a kind of multiple murder that you're all going to get life daft. So the next, basically one minute you're a mastermind criminal. Aye. And then the next thing you're talking, ah, you're talking in front of him because it suits. Yeah, I'm not the one that let match. That was that was another verbal. Oh, I was basically saying, oh, I was here, but I never let the match. Because I thought, well, you let the match, and if you're there, and you're in trouble. You're just a guilty. Aye, you know what I mean? Aye. And you're getting it all that. Is, oh, I never let the match. Fuckers, they're clever. They're sick. They're evil bastards. They're clever. They're so the is man. that the only is is that the only evidence that they had, Joe? Is is, is this verbal and the pub? Against me, it was a hearsay. Was that one in a fucking pub, uh, and Billy Love. Uh, making up fucking stories and uh, as well, he was done with a shooting, a robbery and whatnot, and went in it as well. Never get bail nor that. And all of a sudden, we all hang with he goes out, ten out, or they get to see him, and it gives his fucking made up stories. But the biggest, the, the most people that say that they hang with that, they'd already pulled all these statements out and made them sign it or go to me sign it, whatever. Know what I mean? Aye. The, the, the and did so that ever? Did, did that ever kind of get? Um, did that ever get like? Uh, concrete did that ever get like validated that they that they Kevin I made the statements up Joe did, did, did that ever get validated did they no. ever admit to that or maybe they didn't, listen they denied all and made them out as if it were all fucking uh, we gave him a cup of tea we done that oh shit uh, we went to his mother we went to this his mother and this and that did, do you know the only person who got turned to hell who's wise the who's he says was fucking Tommy Campbell and the only reason they done Tommy was to put fucking pit shafts and all that in his cellar. They get, there was a van or something done somewhere, and the boys that done it had put pit shafts, mass, and odds and ends up in a power station, sort of thing, right? And uh, when they get pulled in, young boys crumbled. Uh, said they'd done it for fucking, there was nothing to do with Tommy or rubber. But anyway, they caught us taking their mass and they hang me and put them in Tommy's fucking cellar. So they did. So, so look, I'm obviously just trying to like, like relay the trial, right? So, mm -hmm. Obviously, um, the evidence runs right, so you've got the two witnesses against you, mm -hmm. and is that it? Like, obviously, the, I know the the, the kind of the famous kind of police statement that you and uh, Tommy Campbell made supposed to be in the, the back of a motor. And well, Tommy's was, was uh, 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 it was only a fright and it went too far. Aye, where have you ever heard that? I've never heard the word fucking fright in my life. Uh, he, <laughs> we'd go, oh, he shot his pants or he kicked his, you know what I mean, Aye, a fright. That's all he's fucking. Her fucking stewed coppers gonna be worried words, you know what I mean? <laughs> then I watched the hang me no so long ago, so and that's one of the reasons I'm doing this and all. because uh, see when I fucking go alone to his left when I die, they're gonna these rat bastards are gonna come out of the about say, uh, with this one and with that one, they be couldn't use it. And see if we were DNA they'd be saying, Oh, they were stinking a petrol and they were this. They fucking know. They were lying by beds, Tommy's babysitting, 
and they fucking couldn't catch the right people had done it, so they just went up and fucking done Dark Charlie, tell them what he did. The man that I was going to tell you there is, Gary Moore died and whatever, and they're in his house, and they're fun of diary, you this fucker, they're fun of diary, and Gary's confessed to the, the oil murders and all the rest, you know what I mean? I read, I read that in the paper, aye, aye. Uh, And then they said, they never taken it, fucking a, a gold dust like that, you know what I mean? It was a fucking blew the case wide open for them. And they said they never taken it. It was never a Gary Moore can even write a fucking letter. He was too lazy. <laughs> and they, 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 what was it? He said that they came back to get it and it was away. The Gary died and they thought something happened to him that was like a crime scene. Aye. You know what I mean? Aye. They were fucking diary. Simple as that. They were And if Gary did do a diary, like, confess it to Doyle's, why would they not confess to the last of Mac and Ali and whatever? And they're like, because I can swear my kid's life had never done the fucking Doyle's. Aye. But I can't swear my kid's life had never done the other lasses. Aye. I've spoke to him, whatever. Aye. You know what I mean? Uh, and Gary never fucking done it always. They can think and say with a man. The covers are doing that because they're fucked up. And you know what I think, Sean? And, and Paul Ferris and your Tam Beggs and all that are fucking bouse me. Like it's on and all. See the people that done the fire? There was a four of them up the stair and came down in the motor and broke down the fucking motor. Do you know they weren't even charged? They weren't the Paul. I don't know if they were, mm-hmm. they were questioning whatever. But they can't have a fucking clue. They're still out there, they know. Uh, and we'll never go to the night now anyway. We'll certainly Aye. never go for people like me and people with Paul and all that. So no. Do you Aye. know what I mean? Uh, so, well, obviously, I know that we're not going to sit and name names and stuff like that, right? But. Um, coppers names above. Do the coppers, do the coppers, do you believe the coppers know who done it? I believe they knew it was McGraw. Aye. Right? No done it so much, but he's it, it, really fucking done it. He all done it. It was his people that done it. Aye. Well, I mean, Tommy Campbell's lying in with his fucking kids and babysitters and, and Tommy, I've known Tommy Campbell was a fucking boy who I was away in. Tommy was one of the cleverest fucking guys. That, he got all, all sorts of high court indictments. You know what I mean? Aye. And then all of a sudden he's a fucking idiot. Uh, I'm not a man to let him. I'm not, uh, I'm, uh, it was a fright that went too far. I only went to the windy shop. I guess, obviously TC, I, I didn't know him, do you know what I mean? But um, he, he was like a hardened criminal, wasn't he? Like, so, he made him look after himself. I don't he was think never he a bully, was... was never fucking... Ten liberties that I ever remembered. Aye. Right? And do you know when I fucking broke that boy? Aye. I, I, I know, I, I've I know. sat in a pair of two, he's greeting a girl. I know. And whatever, frustrating, whatever. He used to come up and say, you're going to get on my bambi came and I was done with all sorts of assaults. He was killing himself. Aye. And they weren't giving a fuck, they were happy. And the coppers were going about saying to people, uh, but they were done a phone me, Tom and that, and a week or two I phoned me. And I was talking to guys that had been put in with the coppers. And they were saying, look, just fucking tell, sign there, do this. Listen, their own protection, they've been getting dunes up there, and they've been saying to people, you know what I mean? Fucking dunes, we're on the place. <laughs> no, no. Every jail one in there, fucking seven handies. Well, you know I mean? I'm going to take you right into the, because obviously the trial, so I, I'm just trying to basically, kind of, so the viewers know, that is the evidence that you went to the jury with, kind of these two statements, and, and, and that's it really, like, and then obviously, like, circumstantial probably bringing in a bit No of... one person could come into that court and say, I seen him running away for fire. I seen him get up the stair. No, can you can even see I seen him out his bed. It's two false confessions. Um, was that a majority verdict? Fuck, you can man. It's unanimous. Unanimous. Fuck. So you go obviously like I still see that jury in my mind's eye the nerve, Paul. I know. Fucking foreman. I rem- when I get found guilty, Joe, I re- I remember it uh, going like dead surreal and it was like king I could see if everything was dead slow I still remember it like so clearly it, it was like, like, like dead like, slow and right. the, the, I could hear my Mac greeting right. in you the back scream, Paul, uh, you want to fucking aye, shout, like, uh, Sean, you want to scream a ball I know I and mean, the, obviously when I, I walked to it you're, you're trying to kind of show you don't want to greet you don't want to hang it but you're, I, I was holding it in as soon as I got down the stair I was fucking greeting do you know what I mean I, I was fucking like great, Paul. Gary Moore brought a knife to court for me uh, Forget to say it as well, going to attack all the fucking covers. We're talking about things about it was like CID come down and me and I, the fucking. We went nuts. I was the one that was causing all the mess of trouble, and, and my head was fucking about six fucking. I just couldn't get her. I know. So, a kid and this and that. My dad had fucking put a bill in me if he was alive, you know what I, I mean? Know. And these fuck pigs are going like this in the cops on that. Yeah, about my dog and then I'll say, saying, Your dog, your fucking dog's 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 pups. Oh, but it'd be the time you get out, you know what I mean? Is a fucking. Oh, he's in the jail. But I, I was never fucking lying down that. So, and I tell you, the judge happened to sentence me before, before he said, Matt Locke and Craig, uh, we were looking down the stair. Tom used to say to me, fucking calm down now. Uh, that's not because I, I don't mean it was making them look bad because they weren't doing it. They were more fucking level mm-hmm. heeding me. You know I mean, I just was sicky, cuts going in. Guys, that you went to school with Billy Love, cunt. 
she had to look in eye, looking away, and, and, and swearing your life away, but couldn't shake and anything like that, you know what I mean? And that old fucking rat come in in the wheelchair, uh, uh, getting his wee back, then get caught in a fucking line, stopping and all the rest, and kidding on his, his chest, he kidding on him, taking a dummy heart attack. Coppers running out, see when that fucking nori walking out, we're in, and caught with wee bits and bobs. These fuckers were running out the back door and telling the rest of them it was getting in next. Aye. You know what I mean? Aye. Yeah, uh, fucking. Oh, I know. That other fucking mug uh, talking about uh, that fucking Leslie Truman. He's putting me a cunt stop Jackson the tail, and that was his nickname. <laughs> right? And I mean that. I can bring 30 fucking dozen guys in. Aye. He's putting a neck, so look at that cunt kid you. And then he goes down, he said he was, uh, uh, you see uh, two of the oil boys in the van, in the ambulance. Mm -hmm. Uh, that night you come down and there's fucking there's aye, space you see, there's you see it, aye, you you it. Right, they don't know whether they're fucking an arms and an ice cream man the poor cunts and this fucking bugs come in saying he's like, getting up and oh Les nah, I tell you this with him and that with him the fucking boys weren't shot he was only cunt the holy fucking Glasgow they heard the boys saying that because the arms guys never heard that fire brigade guys never had that because it was never fucking says aye. you know what I mean so uh, see the whole thing with uh, wrongies, man. the whole thing with um uh, the whole thing with like somebody shooting at his van and all that is that true? Was that like but, with, the ice cream man got shot? I, 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 I was through ball. And was that down. was that just basically through um, obviously trying to get his run more than anything else, or was it? It was all. My girls was all doing to fucking want to tell her off the city, but Tommy's sister and I were in the van for fucking long enough anyway. There was enough room. I knew all the van, J Jimmy Mitchell. I knew Jimmy if it was a boy. Aye. His daughter, Kathy. See, when, when I was a wee, was a wee lassie, Anne Marie, uh, worked in the van. And there were a bad charge fucking bullying or whatever. And the wee lassie went into court and I'm going, oh, she's only a kid now or all my days when she was on the van now. I came back out after fucking all these years and Anne Marie was still working in the ice cream van in my fucking street. And I went, and, and, and to this, that lassie never near a bar ever discussed anything about ice cream was, right? Right. Went to van. If that lassie had turned to me, went like me, I don't want to serve you, Joe. I'd have been, you're tired of your pen, and I generally would have walked away. No, I know, I know. Sean, the boy that stayed next door to Mrs. Doyle, they ended up in the house phone, and I was nearly fucking that family, nearly dead, and all next door to them. Right. They smoking this and that. Uh, went into court as, uh, and, and gave evidence and all this. That guy stays fucking back for me. I right. see that boy every day of the week. We'll never discuss the thing, mate. I've stayed up there all my fucking days, so on. And right. no one person's ever, ever said, doubted me or thought I'd done anything. No, I certainly, like, when, even when I was in prison, that, there, was never a, there was never a question yeah. it, do you know what I mean? And um, obviously there's names, get fired about it, and blah, all this kind of stuff, do you yeah. know what I mean? But you, 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 you'll know the truth, Joe, and that's for you to, mm -hmm. um, that's for you to kind of do what you do, you want with that truth, do you know what I mean? You, obviously, you, you, I know that, that hoping, that we're going to be, you're going to release a book kind of telling everything, do you know what I mean? And uh, that's uh, up to you how far you go with on that, Joe. So what I'm kind of, can I go to now is more like, so you get sentenced, right? And I just want to kind of let people know just because obviously like people think Joe Steele fucking like kind of hard man and all this, right? I was a petty thief, Sean. Okay, the I can't go it, fucking cell. Aye. And the family, one of the mugs and all. So nobody ever... I mean, I'll get a 55, I think I've two fights in your family and all my fucking life. Aye. You know what I mean? So just mm. just to kind of like, what what, what were you, see when you, what was the feeling like? Like, was you, were you just sank? Like, because people are thinking, these guys get to jail and they don't care and they're right. <laughs> How do, what was your head like, Joe? Uh, Paul, uh, Paul, sorry, Paul. Sean, the, the day I get sentenced and I keep doing this and that at, at the courts and try to get to, into the cell with a knife and that, they put me in different cells and my co accused B. George, almost he's saying him because his family don't know much about him that, uh, about the trial. And he came out greeting to me. He didn't want to bring it out because he didn't want me to get in trouble and all the rest of it, right? Mm -hmm. So there was a big uh, copper in there, Dougie. He used to work in the sheriff courts and all that, seen him early years in the news mm -hmm. and all that. And he, every time I went, I was at high court, I was causing all trouble, but I go and great, we do get bring me the paper in. And he would always get cuffed to me, mm -hmm. come back up the road, you know what I mean? So this, that day, fucking stream, tears are streaming down, fucking anger, we cunts try to kick up and the cunts and that. And do get me, drive me, and I say, oh, he can cuff me. He's trying to calm me down on the bus, right? Uh, all the police bands and all the rest of it. We were going mm -hmm. to Duke Street Aye. to go to bar. And Tammy went fucking mental. He's like, ah, she's looking out the window, and all the showkeepers are out going, ah, you know what I Aye. mean? But it's any right fucking thing to no, I, mean, Tam, I, I said, Tom, I think we're fucking monsters. I think we've killed a whole family. And he was gutted and upset. Uh, but, but, uh, and then I got in the bar that night and uh, my fucking head was... Uh, 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 but probably I did. 
Uh, anyway, but I just broke my fucking heart the whole night. Right. But I tell you one thing, when I got up in the morning, I knew I was going to do my fucking self, my, my sentence different for everybody else, mate. I know. I, I think I did. Um, I, 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 I've just kind of re recently re released a book. Um, it's called Authenticity and Chaos, and it's about how you can be your authentic self in prison, right? Oh, so right. obviously what I'm trying to show is like, you are supposed to be a bunch of gangsters here uh -huh. going to prison. You are all kind of greeting, you are all kind of broke. Right. Um, people don't see this see side of it, do you know what I mean? I don't know what I see, I know my man all that no, scene, of do you know course. what I mean? Aye. Right. But, uh, but then there comes a time you've got to fucking stop it, because you've got to, what did I do, did I give out? Of course. He'd done. No, he ain't got the survival mode. Shut the door, no fucking way. Nobody was calling me a monster, nobody was punching me in the fucking face, I'll tell you that. No, and I mean, they're running about showing they get downs and they're putting protection. So the country tell lies against <laughs> I us. Know. And I'm all born my trumpet going, you ask anybody that will think me in this. It just so happens and was lucky that I had the best fucking group of prisoners ever been through my sentence, man. I'm talking about from one jail to the other. Aye. Do you know what I mean? Aye. Perth was my main jail and I was up there 90, between 9 and 12 years. Uh, moved about every other fucking room the block and all the rest of it. But that was my main jail and that's what I had done all my assaults aye, aye. and you know I mean I could do my man I could fucking go take me out of the show and be whole do you know what I mean I was kind of and blah, blah. But I wasn't a bully I wasn't a gangster I wasn't a fucking jack I aye. didn't take liberties you know what I mean and my problems were all mostly with screws and stuff aye because obviously uh, governors just uh, we'll try and look into you like the anger right we'll try and look into the anger because anger is obviously a feeling that you're going to feel and that's what's making you react right to that to the, the system as you've done joe like obviously you fought the system quite or your, your full sentence um but just to kind of let the view how much did that take out of you because obviously you can't even walk sure, no, nothing joe I'm, my health's fucked right I, I, i've spoke to you Aye. right and tell me something nice. that's what fucking hey, but, Nearly over 40 years, so I can't get that case with my heat, mm -hmm. right? I generally can't get ice cream fucking more in my case. The first bad thing I've ever done, and I, and I met this hand in hand, and I, I spoke to mm -hmm. him about Bob Sean, you're a good guy, I trust you, and mm -hmm. I've poured my heart out to you for some of a lot of Aye. people. But I'll be back in the uh, years and years, when I was, I think I was nine, I was either nine or eleven, Sean, and this kid was either seven or nine, right? We were in the old quarry, we used to go gang fighting later on years. The old quarry, you know what a quarry is, fucking mm -hmm. big massive holes, bricks and whatever. Anyway, there's three, three, me and two other boys, I was, was nine or eleven, as I say, the other guys were in secondary school, and nearly 16 or whatever, right? Uh, and there were three kids there, three young boys, I, I remember the three of them, I see the three of them, that, I knew his name for years after that, but anyway, I had a pal I ran about with, still pals with me today, if he primary school and he moved out to your family. But anyway, he's more worked to know how to the best mm -hmm. like here and this and that. Even the mean stairs and fucking, I just still have washings and all that. Anyway, the boy had a pair of, a, a trainer's own, fucking sad, but the boy had a pair of black trainer's own, with like yellow stripes things, you know what I mean? Same as my pals. And I, I mentioned some of them there, like Hingby Joes, and it's one of them, take them off them, or whatever, right? And I hang me. So anyway, uh, I am with a boy and I said, Lee Spade, he's just a pro, pro I only kids, man. I said, he's eight trainers. Man, uh, he wasn't having that, he right. wasn't a fucking partner, him anyway, the young boy, right? And, uh, and they're going, get him, get him, this and that, right? I said, fuck it. So one of them held me a, it was like a bricky pack. Mm -hmm. you know, the bricky pack, aye, aye. bricks. One of them held me, one of them, he said, take him off. And I said, he's taking your trainers off. And then he gave me some milk to put in, like a mm -hmm. And I'll never forget, it was a chisel or some. And I was only young, fucking daft, all right. the time. But the weight of that, Sean mm -hmm. Wright, and I was the thing, the boy was taking his, his trainers off anyway, and, and I hop on the fucking toe with this thing, right? Mm -hmm. And go to his trainers. And the, 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 they got him sprinting. Anyway, I forgot, I, I know it sounds silly as if carelessness, I fucking go to trainers and I'm away him, and I put some in a, the old bile of cupboard, and I had a wee duck out with my neighbour on the back, that was doing it. And, eh, uh, I love those all my day. And anyway, so my uncle came down and said, there's CID in the house for you. I went, fuck it, I don't know fucking CID, man. I'll go tell them. So I goes up anyway, and, and these two guys are sitting there, and they asked me about the thing with the quarry and this and that. And I'm right in the cupboard and gave him my boys trainers, mm -hmm. right? And my ma fucking chalk away. It's the only right. time I've really, my ma known in her heart, she was in the same room, she knows she could go to a grave and didn't need to worry about me. Mm -hmm. as in the dog, she knew that was the ma ah, fucking thing, right? But that boy, that, that fucking killed my man. You know what I mean? The kid, and, and she, 
or Joseph about you're done and all that. So anyway, it turned out these two fuckers that was with me, it was uh, Hingman Monty Davis kid. Had been dog in school and get caught with the police and get taken to his police station before this harm. Right. And he'd left his signs fucking folded, this big clown right left his signs folded right. So when that happened a couple of days, whatever later, he's went up to the cop shop to get his signs fucking folder. And two of the wee kids that was with that boy that had done it to us were sitting there and they went, That's one of them there. Right. Right. And this is a fucking local sixteen year old ticket obviously. But anyway, fucking crumbled and said it was me. You know what I mean? But I never ever denied that going to What age were you, Joe, then? I was either I was I was at primary school. I was either nine or eleven. I was either eleven, that boy was nine or eleven. So it's just like an older team at egg and your own and aye, like, they were, they were saying to a fucking pair of rats. But anyway, uh, they were hanging me his own. But that's fucking killed me more than anything. That was fucking for two years. I got up to us for that boy was spearing my brother millions of times and I used to wonder if he knew it was me or whatever, you know what I mean? And generally, it's the only fucking thing in my heart that's really affected me and he that way because the Doyles that's not my worry I never fucking Aye. done that although I, I think it constantly my brother and it was sad and fucking horrible you know what I mean I know. but that thing I, I done that and that fucking kid and to think cops are saying he ran across the quarry with his soap and his toe and all that knowing my fucking he'd be scrambled well, that's 50 years ago Sean I can't Joe, get show, out of my it, fucking it just shows, it shows your kind of empathy compassion no, that's what like, you've got that side all right. he probably might even be fucking passing me I don't know but I always wanted my, for my man that fucking thing. My mum mentioned it when I grew up, mm-hmm. or in the veranda, sitting when I grew up my first bail. Aye. My mum was buzzing. I was saying, you if you want my mum was buzzing. And I'm looking at her, and she was always stressed. You knew my mum was worrying, you knew she was mm-hmm. depressed, whatever. And I, I was looking, and this day she was fucking, the first day she was buzzing. So anyway, I guess it as if for a cut of tea and I'm in to her. And I, I mean, me, you think the man was watching her. See, I was just thinking, son, this is the first time for these were all ways. I've had my, my three boys in the house. You know what I mean? And I fucking Sad. did a wee cuddle until my mum's my fucking world. You know what I mean? And then I don't know what hang me that. My ma, I said to my ma, I fucking I think my way out of the quarry, we hang me this and that and this and that. And she could applaud me. My mum's asking, she's turning and she said to me one day, that night, and hang me, Joseph, son. I said, what, ma? Do you ever think of that wee boy? And I went, but I know she fucking meant, mm-hmm. and I don't know why. Mm-hmm. I said, but wee boy, she went, the wee boy, hang me there. And I went, ma, every fucking day in life, that's never left my head. You know what she said to him, man? Ma, I don't know. Uh, by neither, son. I'm fucking bro, my wee mo. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That was him, Because she knew you'd done something that you, was wasn't you, but she didn't ever, even the Doyle thing, didn't even like bother because she just ma, knew ma, you'd ma, never ma, done that. Right. Right, and she knew much, how much I fucking made of you, uh, why I thought about Doyle's. And that's your fucking palm me down the road, you know what I mean? Aye. Yeah, fucking kid who, uh, uh, the, 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 the woman that had her kid in the house, when they're on the house. Uh, no, no, fucking sell it, but so I, I, and what see, see, obviously, like the way, because obviously the, the people have got this vision in their head, right? To these, like, all you's going, and I'm just, what, what I'm trying to show is, like, I know I've spoke to Joe. I, I can see you've got a, you've got a good heart. You're empathetic. You're compassionate. You show um, so much. You've got a big heart. Do you know what I mean? You just have. You grew up in a hard place. You grew up with a hard father. Um, you grew up in a. What was right, what was aye, wrong. Aye, aye, you know and you mean? still do, and it's you grew up in a so you grew up kind of hard rules. Do you know what I mean? You grew up and 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 learned to go into survival mode. So when you're going into prison, what you that door's shutting, your f- he's up your ass, and then aye, you're coming out and you've got to you've crime. got to put that f- mask aye, on, but I know that. And, and 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 face the day, mm-hmm. and we speak about this quite a lot. Um, how jails like that it's a toxic environment that you need to go into survival mode or you're eating alive any time Sean did you come out your pier to where it's breakfast anywhere and walk by the same guys every fucking ten, five ten minutes and get by and go alright so and so alright so and so one day you'll walk by there and you'll something you're you'll forget five minutes later comes into your pier going have you got a problem I know I know it's, it's a crazy. fucking sick world in the jail Aye. but you're right survival Sean and I'm fucking surviving it when you break, no, definitely, and it's a testament to yourself, Joe. To be honest, um, so just to we'll go into kind of some of the, the other the escapes and stuff like that, right? And obviously, how you done that. So, what was the the kind of first one? Like, obviously, when you done the, the escape, how did that come about, Joe? I always knew, Sean. I was going to do the kind of things I was doing. I don't mean I knew I was going to pass that, but I knew I was always going to get out of prison, one way or another, right? But 
I couldn't do none because the, the people that was to help me, the only people I can trust and rely on 100% that I can come out and they're there the enemy is my brothers. Aye. And they were doing 15 year each. Aye. Right? Now, if they were out, I know my heart, they, they'd have got me out for a bus, gone to a moved about Aye. or whatever, but I'd have done for them. Aye. And fuck, I'm so, 60 fucking three, you know, my brothers are older. Aye. And I know in my heart, we would still do it if one has got fucking Aye. treat, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. We'd go and help each other out and get that. But I always knew what I was going to do. But it was, I didn't know when my brother was going to go, two year, two, or two year or ten year. Aye. But I was willing, I, I spoke Waiting. to him, I'd been in business and I, and I knew, and they kept saying to me, just fucking keep your heat down, try and get hang me, bye, and we'll be there. And Aye. it'll be a different ball game. And I knew, and I trusted them, and I knew they could they'd be there. Yeah, especially Johnny, Johnny's fucking with me, he's full of my care own, and that was his way he got through, he said, you know what I mean? Jimmy just going to fucking read a book and whatever, but, and then he would need to come and get into border through us. Aye. You know what I mean? Aye. And every time I go into border, they'd send for Jim. But anyway, I, I knew I was going to, uh, I was going to home with my mum was no well. Mm -hmm. No, no, no well. She, she could uh, travel and all that, right? Aye. But I wrote a doctor a letter and I asked, I asked the governors, and they said, you need a doctor's line, no, you can have compassionate leave. So, right to my mum's doctor, uh, this night, she wrote back, uh, no fucking way, she was under no circumstances. Was she signed any for me to get out on right. home leave? It's through us, my mum was in that condition, health wise, not right. a no. Like, Is that what they said to you? As my mum's doctor, my mother. Right. She's a lovely doctor, Dr. Brown. She had her thought, oh yeah, and she right. was generally hanging with my mum's right. heart, you know what I mean? But whatever well, can't help, she probably thought, my mum's going, I've been doing something, my mum, but we've never done this, and she's going, right. oh, I know, Mrs. Steele, and that, whatever can't help, she's going, Exactly, it would have been Friday, man. Do you know what I mean? It was funny, but there was nothing with the fucking change that we wanted. She knew I was in that fucking bedroom with him. You know what I mean? There was nothing. No, she knows you're innocent, Aye, I know. but I'm, I'm I'm saying, Friday, I hate Friday as in. I was Friday. I can because... see the worries in her face when she came out of business and all the rest of it. Uh, uh, but Brett with hearts. My mum is the fucking best woman. Aye. Everybody's mum is the best Aye. in the world, but my mum is fucking best. You know what I mean? I love that bits. I still mess up. But anyway, and that's the only thing I'm bitter with. Things like the sentence, I couldn't give a fuck about. I think it's a sentence anyway for some just fucking a serious, is it? No, I, I mean, know, no, right? but I think it done me all sorts of crap, but there'd always been it. But for these cunts to come in and swear your life away and point the finger, knowing in the heart you never done it. Right. You know, that's bad, that's, that's sick on the fuckers that do a lot of bad crimes. Do you know what Definitely. I mean? And that was all my fucking, my, I'd been in all these jails all my life, ways, cunts in for ways, being abused. When right. they walk by these cunts that rip ways and tear ways, his fucking pants off, and go, how are you doing, Tam? And what right. about, I'm coming back, right. anyway, because they weren't in your fucking no, land, I know. Isn't that? I mean, they were, they should be. Aye, aye, same with me. It's obviously like, um, it's, it's, it's just trying to, it's obviously knew you were going to escape, right? So, I'm oh, sorry, Paul, get, uh, Sean, I'll get back, keep going, of course, Paul, I'll get back to that. Uh, so anyway, the doctor, and she went through using this and that, no? And uh, I tell my mum about it, my mum went back and said to her, I'll have her again. And I wrote another letter, right? And I said, look, I pro promised the doctor the world, wouldn't I? I'd never okay. pretend to keep the promise, but anyway, okay. I wrote to her and promised her and this and that. Uh, I, don't, I can't even remember if I'd have said that, but it would be nice now, because I'd maybe be paid to fucking... Aye, aye, aye. But anyway, she eventually wrote back to her and says, uh, Listen, uh, I, I wasn't going to do this, but I know your mother's no well not, and this and that, and, uh, and I've, I've read your thing, mate, and I'll give you the doctor's line, and fucking ask for it, and everything cunts life, man. I'm not any day, but I was going to do it anyway, but Aye. anyway, I went out to see my ma, and uh, the first time I went out, it was, it was, it was uh, screws I'd done years away, and been through all the things we and fucking perps, all that, they came out with me. And they were brilliant, they were brand Aye. new, but I didn't want to go to any of the first one anyway. Aye. Because they're always their toes, but they were great. And then the second, I go it again, as it was every three, I applied again. And the second man I went out, uh, I went, well, fuck it, this is it. Johnny and I were still in the jail. Aye. And uh, when I went out, it was a different ball game. They were fucking poor snibbing. I don't know why, but they were poor snibbing, you know what I mean? Aye. So I ended up on the roof that one, on my mum's roof. Aye. Uh, and Oh, the whole, I was proud of my whole scheme, gave me a lot of run up a, the pub along the bars and that, Aye. and of oh, what spreads them on the roof, and the ball came out and that, the balls were fucking raging and livid. Aye. Even the ones that, there was two uh, prison officers, we, we the ones that uh, had new men, had no problems with. Two, one came for the Young Appenders Institute, they must have been a fucking jack lad or a bull or a gangster. Aye. We don't know in there because we was in Perth, he's, they must have known him and he's hanging up front. The way like crazy Joe or something, he's confident himself. 
But anyway, uh, after I'd done that, we're not carrying on in the fucking house. Yeah, can he came back to the night, that can for a while. And he's telling people he was going to put a nose of draw in my, my pee. I'm going to give a fuck about a nose of draw anyway. Uh-huh. I'd have fun at the smokes, but I'm going to care if we get done, mate. Uh-huh. And uh, he was going to put a nose of draw in my fucking pee because of what I'd done. Uh, getting on the roof, that, uh-huh. know what I mean? And it was another time to show him that the, the, the first thing I've ever done when I'm into any prison, get moved about, I tell the governor, I will not be sent in any country company talking about ice cream wars or anything I've done or anything this and that. And, and I, I tell every one of them that. Aye. And I always ask them to put it down and they did. But two screws and all I'd done are, are wrong to us and fucking things like that. Go together and went to somebody and said that I'd confessed to them that I'd done the doyles. Two, two, two off two fucking rotten screws. Uh, and never the balls. A couple came in 10 square goes, these cunts when you come in less worth 30 behind them. But anyway, they two thought they said that I'd actually sat when we confessed to him as if, oh, how the fucking guilt of fucking all that. Fucking hell. I, I, I only found out uh, a bit after a couple of years, I know, and nothing never came out of it because I think they fucked up. I think the governor, whatever it was, I went, he's went, listen, this cunt's been doing here for day one. And I reinforced it, mate. It was all staff up thing, mate, that time because I never had many problems. Then we beat Paul Ferris with a, ah, fuck, if you're doing the road, what'd you call him? That fucking business, he'd lost his ways, tell wise. Was he fed in England? Well, I was a witness against me, Paul. Said Paul was the vendor of his from there. Oh, aye, aye, aye. And he, Paul the, fucking up. The kind of guy that lied in all the trials. Two fucking names, I nearly had it there. Anyway, that fucked big. Aye. And when that happened, I'm back down to Govs and I said to him about the cons. I don't know if he sent me any cons in fucking cell box and that, know what I mean? Aye. Because uh, obviously that was, that was obviously like a big trial on all Paul Ferris's one, but obviously that was that guy that had, They'd done that in multiple trials, hadn't they? Like, say, they... Aye, oh, aye, yeah, aye, like, aye. I've stuck... He's... I fuck Widman or something, is it Widman or something? Aye, but I can't... I, I, I remember I read I read the book years I ago and I remember... Like fucker. Um, in, did he know the guy? But he you know... He his life away. So you were basically, as soon as you hit a nick, you were doing governor, I, I, I will him, not be fucking Andy Gallagher, all the way through to fucking Peter, I tell them all. Aye. I'm and innocent. still That's two what, officers well, we, did, uh, So what did you say when you get to order? Guys, we're going to go... Uh, Tam Smith, 1133, fucking Aye. life, sir. That was name me. I'm in every fucking order and every governor. I'm in it. was Joseph Steele Innocent in prison. That's what I heard of me. A couple of people go, ah, well, the court says you're guilty. You know what I mean? But I always scream about that. Aye. And then the screw, what is this? I'll fucking tell you. Aye. You know what I mean? No. Uh, bro, I don't know um, how much you want to go. Obviously, there's, I don't know how names and all that, but there was a, a, a an attempt when, it, when you escaped with the, doctor, the doctors hanging and all that. The, was that was that the any truth in that? With the doctors hanging the, the doctors? We were dressed up, you Aye, aye, aye. Aye, aye. aye. <laughs> we got, uh, we got a, a, a screw came up to me one day. It was a programme on a kind of... The programme was one of me and Tommy. Rough uh, Justice or something? I'm trying to think of fucking thing. Uh, it was all for us anyway, I can't remember what it was telling you. So, next day, a couple of days later, this warders came up to me and went, show me and my, my missus, me and my wife are watching that programme, blah, blah. Uh, and between you uh, you and I, uh, we believe you're innocent. And I always told them, I went, well, if you, you believe I'm innocent, man. I said, well, why between you and I? Why no tell it? But you, you, you think, that, oh, it's my job and this and that. I went, your job, fuck. Uh, but if there's anything I can do for you, do not hesitate to ask, right? And then, then I went like, fuck it. I, I said, I'm going to ask this cunt for a key, but it was better to annoy Aye. him Aye. Or, or whatever. And, and a reaction, I went, what do you mean? I said, there's a pay me, you make us a key. And he's looked at me. Aye. Right? And a, a wee bit, I'm like, he's going to fucking show me. But after a second, I said, I'm going, well, anyway, what the fuck could he do? They could not do any of me. I mean, you know, no, no, I know, I destroyed their cell box, I shut them down. So there's nothing... The life of that... And you don't put me in the poem, because mm-hmm. I, I was getting three, four a fucking day. Aye. Uh, but anyway, I said to him, a key, and he's looked at me. Two or three days later, maybe my mum, uh, I've come in for the shed, me and my uh, coke and my big pal was, uh, was dressed as me. It was free as coke, it was the gun, he'd done all the escape store, but he was loyal to me. Aye. And trust what, and he, he, he helped me, and done it. He's some boy, he's a fucking soldier. But anyway... Uh, I've seen that screw come back and, and the way he, look, he looked at us uh, in a weird sort of way, I went, fuck, I thought something been said, blah, blah. and he's doing that with his eyes. So, I'm not, and I've been lying, I've tippled, I've dig into the arch, Aye. and I'm like, I mean, fucking know what he wants before. Aye. I think he's coming in with some story, my wife says, <laughs> whatever. And he came in, and he went, I'm fucking, he, he gave me a hang, and Aye. ran out the door. Aye. And I, and I, it was a blue tack. Aye. Blue tack. 
with a print in it. Aye. And I fucking, uh, my heart was, I was dead sober, so I was skipping all that, and I ran back to my big pal, big John Crow, because <laughs> we were Aye. talking about escaping and all Aye. that. No, I mean, I mean, you're not going to believe us. And he's like, you're fucking kidding. You want to see this guy making things, man, be sloans, can make guns, made the, see, they just fucking steal one out of the office, they made the helmet. Aye. Uh, he, he got the, he had the white doctor's coat, and the ones that made you. I was the Tesla Sibby, no one else could have done it, and whatever. And uh, so anyway, that was us, we got into the Peter, every fucking night he was in. I, I, I got a jewellers file, you know, Dizzy Rings and this rings. Uh, my pals bought a jewellers file and a, a wee, was it a jewellers file? And a hacksaw, was it? And somebody else anyway, uh, go to him in the visits. And that was us, John and I made a bit with the keys. He was saying, I think it is honestly, 27 fucking basically different keys <laughs> to get it. I thought he gave us a nine key, this one. So anyway, we're hanging in Big John. So see every morning, John, we're going to work. We're cat A, can we? We're heavy cat A, but it was the, uh, what, fucking, there was three screws down there, so we went everywhere. Did you have a suit and all that on, like the, the escape suit and all that? Did you have that on, no? no see, we were going to, we're going to work, see, we're going to work, but in between that, John's standing aye, on aye, the keys. Aye. Every morning, we're going to fucking work. We're going to with a metal detector. Aye. And every fucking, they were getting his denims every day. And every time we go it, I was screaming. Aye. See all the shavings, we didn't know what the animals we didn't know. <laughs> so every time so we take kept saying we're shavings. But anyway, eventually we fucking we go to the key like made. And uh I can't That's mental stop. but into like cause obviously I was in prison a long time and all right and boys escape, but usually boys escape through vans and that, but to mm. listen to it like that and the the governor uh, 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 I was I was I don't know what I but the governor that was in uh, my first sentence was Glenn Oakles. I don't say uh, why I was. I was 15, I went for a prayer school uh, up to there, and my governor in there at the time was Mike, Mike Duffy. He was a whole governor. Aye. Uh, Mike told me he was a macklet, smart, dressed, and all that. And I thought he just didn't like me. Aye. Uh, when I went in, every time I was doing for a punishment, uh, doing the order, order room or whatever, I, always, I couldn't always miss it because I was a CYP, and I always get put in the digger in the cell block. But the diggers and glue were fucking spotted, and that, you know what I mean? And I'd get put in there. And, uh, but, me being fucking jack lad, I am I'm in a pro school again or whatever, I was getting cheeky and lippy and this and that. So then they would take my mattress out Aye. in the mornings, you know what I mean? You get it back in at tea time. Aye. So we come in, mattress, I don't want my fucking mattress, worst thing I've ever done. I didn't take it in for the first night or two, you know what I mean? That's probably how you can't walk now. <laughs> but, uh, being gallant, but anyway, this one went for ages and why I was then I became, I was only a young fucking boy, I had a few fights with people and things like that and then I was down in front of this other governor, we thought we was talking about uh, Joe Jack that Jackson. He's aye, aye. Well, he came for the special unit at him to Glen Oakles. When aye. I went to Glen Oakles, why was there was only two halls open in the whole jail? Aye. See, I think it was B and C. It was open, and the rest of them were all getting fucking done up. Done up, up what I mean. And uh, it was actually a good fucking a good jail, with good food, and everything. Uh, Glen Oakles at the time. But then I went up in front of that Jackson. One of the times I'm on, he's you, you Andy Steele's boys get what I know you. And if you, you couldn't lace your fucking fairer's boots, no, that, no, what I mean. Right. So, I'm a fucking boy, man, and I, I, get to, I knew the story when uh, the unit opened, Aye. right? Uh, and that uh, Jackson was on the, f the phone, right? And this is me here, and this was for Aye. Dan Urquhart, and I think he was on Larry Winters when they had done that with a pair of scissors and cut his tie. Aye. And then I'm on the phone next, Aye. right? So, when I'm in there, he's getting but you know, you couldn't lace your fucking dad's boots and whatever. I said, I can't lose my dad's boots. I said, you get your fucking tie cut up here. I can't get a phone up here in a special unit. I don't know what he was doing, but he went fucking ballistic, man. Man, ballistic, man. Try to get out of this, man. I mean, it was a fucking luncheon. I can still piss it, I can't. And uh, that, was, that was the first time I ever got taken, dragged into the silent cell at the back, and you know, it was there. Aye. And then there, so after that, and you do me in front of you, I hang me. I, I can't, some kind of man, maybe he's done it, Joey. He feels sorry for him, man. <laughs> I text you because I was fucking, I was only a wee boy, didn't he? Nothing, 15, turned 16 in there. And, uh, so anyway, this is the same governor that you uh, ended up years, with, the, with the key in it? Is this uh, the same governor? That was governor? in 1977, 78, 79, that time of the while I was. And he's appeared in Perth. Aye. Uh, by this time I'm fucking established, I'm break, pixies and part screws and everything. I'd be dubbed the doors at New Year and they had to Aye. go through the walls for us and all that, no? And uh, I'm, doing to, I'm doing to get a visit with Tommy one day, asked to get a, in a prison visit. Aye. And there's a bull mate, and I fucking, he's, he hadn't changed that day, man. And he's looking at me, he's looking at the paper and that. What can I do for you still? I say, I'm doing a visit with, in fact, I'm telling you, because I was only in a, a, a matter of fucking nine months by that time, I think, before I got done with all the salts. And he, I say, he says, what about, uh, I said, a visit with Tommy Campbell uh, in a prison visit. 
Poh, he says, no fucking danger that. He says, I heard you come up here with about seven or eight police cars. Aye. Right? And, see, and that's true. Aye. Can't hear that. But see, fucking two weeks later, I'm in a dentist in fucking Perth and a taxi with him with three Aye. screws. Aye. You know what I mean? Aye. Aye, so it wasn't his, aye. like, big pro, high profile way he's making it. Aye, aye, aye. It was fucking heavy, Julian. No, of course, angry, aye, but, aye. Uh, but he was near there, McDuffie, wasn't near there at the time when he came in a pocket. It was the only fucking time I've ever done it. Time in the taxi. And, and I get out of the door, I, mean, I can see me and you having problems, Mikey, somewhere like I said to him, aye. no. And, then, and after that, I cut a sword, cut a run-ins, and he put me in rules and all the rest of it. And then he disappeared, Right. So the time with the keys is years later, whatever, and Aye. he's come back as the number one Aye. governor. But, and a few bits and bobs, we had the key for a while, a few bits of dark things, salt prisoners and biting and all that. Uh, and I doubt Stanley Charles he got for. Brought, I brought a screw jaw on the Peter uh, and had to go up for that. But anyway, he's came to see me. He shouted me down, I'm down to his office. He said, shut the door out. And I said, he said, listen. He said, we're getting too old for this fucking, like, this is fucking years in. Aye, aye. Too old for this fucking lot and that. He said, I had the key, I know, to get away. <laughs> and Big John nearly fainted when I'm back. He said, listen, Joe, uh, uh, if you can give me your word that you know, protest, assault my staff, or try and escape, you can do what the fuck you want. No aye. need to go to work. And, I don't know what I am, but no need to go to work. No need to do this and that, no. And I, and I kind of liked him by this time. He's kind of a, he's no, he's, he used to come to the diggers and see that we'd be covered heated to and shite. And he wouldn't fucking, he would come in, but he wouldn't come in with like some governors, big squad. And he just Aye. came in the store and he'd sell and talk away. And it was fucking stinking, you know what I mean? Aye. But, uh, and I gave him my word and he shook his and I gave him my word. I said, but as soon as I, I hear anger about what's my appeal, I'm out of here. Because it was meant to be for one of the appeals. And that's fair enough. And, uh, so anyway, I did fucking test him a couple of days later when they come in and says sheds show and I was tired and I didn't get my bed in the third flat. Security was in a third flat mm -hmm. or second, can I no need to aye, aye. But anyway, uh, hang me so I'm I fucking no gone, I'm tired. He went, you're on the port. So the next morning it's a fucking two show and all the guys that was in me were watching it. The next morning they opened the door, uh, ordering him Joe, uh, governor, I said, Tell me come up, I'm not gonna fucking out my bed. <laughs> he said, You need I said, I'm not going, didn't tell me come up. He said, But away. He came back up. He go on, I said, no. I wrapped a cloak hanging on me. <laughs> he go on, I said, no. He says, all right, the Lord lifted me. Aye. Fucking, hey, uh, turtle black, right down all the stairs, right in the Lord, ordering him and sat me down in the, the chair, no. <laughs> We've covered that. Aye. Uh, <laughs> and uh, he said, you tired, Joe? So, sometimes, he, he's like me, I used to be gallus and uh, they're all too up and say, morning, mate, and all that. But I never ever disrespect him from any other cons. Aye. Do you know what I mean? Aye. It was all, they sell the staff. Um, he said, what happened, you know, he's tired, I said, I said, well, he said, it does look tired, he said, no, what, stay in your bed for the next four or five days, he says, <laughs> but that was my fucking wreck and everything, Aye. do you know what I mean? But he did, stay, he stood there, and I did stand by my word, when, he, when I'm back to tell Big Johnny, he went, you fucking kidding me, we've had this five, six months already, <laughs> we, we should have got away, we would have got away, but the boy I mentioned to you, had done all the Aye. years, was in a different hole for me, Aye. and he uh, had a lot of time for him, and he, He'd been a long time, I think he's still in the noon. Eh? Aye. And uh, so it was only me and John and Coke who knew about it. And I said to him, Listen, John, I said, We man's fucking, look at years he's done, he's got a day for what Aye. he's done up. You know what I mean? I said, I'm going to go and see him. So I'm there and see him, and he was fucking delighted. But he was in a different hall, we didn't go and see him, whatever, sheds or whatever. And I said, You hang me, and he said, He said, Listen, but how are you going to get me? You can go out the back of the hall we were in, his other hall, Aye. even over his cameras and all that. But anyway, cut his scope out and I've got air my hang me and I knew something was wrong in his face and go to the window and I showed my key and I laughed and that. No, he went, just go. I said, What? He said, he said the country was doing the medicine and this and all the hang were all stone at the gate, we were taking them out. And we've only got a certain time before I'm noticed. I'm on a book now, and so Aye. was John. You know what I mean? Aye. In fact, one of the screws on my book, when I wait a day, whatever he's doing, and before they dare, I've got to check, I'm there, then hold the book here, sign it, and hold the book here. You know what I mean? The other in the right room. And uh, so, but, Reluctant, we felt bad, but we left him and went away back. And see, by the time we got round, he get, he get to the bit where the gate was made, me Aye. fucking on the signal. I bumps into the screw, and I'm in my book. <laughs> Aye, I've always got three, four screws up the with me. And uh, the screw I said, but it was fine, we doing in bar, Jerry Boyle, he's a PO up there, but then. And uh, Roger, Roger, Watson's, Roger Watson was a screw, and he's walking, he's looking at me. I had my glasses up and I'm on my own, and I thought he'd never hang me. And George got away hanging, he's looking at me. I went, all right. I don't know what he did. I said, all right. So 
So we walked on, and John's going, I've got a idea, we've got a idea. We had a key each. So I went out to the visit, we went out to the visit. Went and he's still stoning, watching. <laughs> this cunt before he's in the home. We go out to the visit, but you get into the visits. And oh, there's one door, you turn it. Aye. And that home's like, automatic. Well, aye, that home, aye, then you put the key in. Aye. So I know this cunt still watched that home, that one for John. And John's put the key in and turned it. And we went in and we were hiding in the toilet. So I wonder who was an ass who's been buying this cunt, Roger Wars has been the last cunt. I've just seen Joe Steele going in there with an officer I don't recognise. There's only one. <laughs> So that screw, we heard the gate come home, you're hiding the toilet, we'll try to look up behind his bars and that, but anyway, he's come in, he had a visit, and he went for his bed, then he got in the toilet, he's went right through the visit room, and, and we have come back out, and we're right aligned, we're right So he's just walking about the visit room? I was putting, <laughs> uh, no, this is in the toilet, but we oh, come out yeah, the visit yeah, room, yeah. and we walked right round where the surgery is. Aye. Fucking, we're desperate, man. Aye. We ain't got lambs and all going to go, anyway, we'll get through the surgery, we're fucking covered mud, we run through all the dingies, and we're through the surgery, you know like a surgery, it's Aye. spotless. I went back, man. Fuck you, I see the amount of dirt <laughs> all the way right up. So we're out the back here, which is at the one was there. Aye. There's a fence. A pal of mine, we escaped for years ago, out of surgery, Aye. and the fuckers put the fence on it after that, you know what I mean? Aye. But, uh, so we, we get in there, and the keys try to open the, the big gate when they open, and I went, ah, fuck this. And we know the screams like I met John, man. I started, he said, Mon, Joe, Joe, you've set a alarm up. And I did, I climbed up it. He's going, please, he didn't want me to be looking at you know, and I fell fucked. But anyway, I came back down and the camera started moving and we've jumped into a bit of the side of a wall, a, a building, and we heard the door opening all up as if somebody's reported the alarm. 10, 15 minutes later, we we'll need to go we'll fucking fight a little bit. Came back out and there's a screw going to come in. It was a cunt that Roger, Roger Watt said to him, eh, Joe's a bit there and I, I didn't recognise the guy, it was him. And eh, he's come out. John Parnett, I forgot John Parnett when he came out of the visit room and he's taken his white vest, his white jacket up and threw it in the, the toilet and he had his key in it, I had mine, he does. So obviously they found it, whatever, and that's how the, the key came about. And uh, I had to tell the cunts anyway because I needed much publicity. Aye, 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 aye. But anyway, we walked along and we are walking along by the reception, me and him, and we kept saying, get to fuck you, we come down here, we're going to bust you, I couldn't use one, listen to that, like, I didn't want it anyway. And we'll get through the gates where the vans would come in. No, you come in aye, aye, the, no, the back, aye, aye. No, the, the, the front gates of Bambi come in right, and then aye. it's called the stair rail there. Aye, and then the there's another garden, gate, the you wee, press a aye. button and the door opens, and we went through there. And we've got in, and we're not, when the screws come in that, but they go upstairs and take the jackets and that, so all aye. lockers, but we're up there. And I went, where's that fucker go? He's, <laughs> he's no came up for about five, ten minutes, and it's bars, like skylights with bars and that. Nice man, he's popped up, and he's came, hang on. I said, you better get to the fuck. We didn't know. I think he kind of had a, a key. I think he was a the guy done the locked up. Aye, sure. But anyway, he said, we got to fuck. And they went, listen, I said, I said, see you, we could have learned you fucking tie job. I said, so mind that, I never used any violence, on your end like that. He went, no, Joe, it's all right. He said, just come down. He said, there's about 40 of them down there. He said, but I'll say to him this and that, no. Aye. I went, fucking it, maybe do no, I can't tell. Not one fucking person, <laughs> mate. <laughs> he tried to bluff it. Just as that assistant governor, Stuart Angus, came through. All right, Joe, all right, John. He's chanting away. We're in a fucking stereo there, John's at a best <laughs> one. And I'm dressed like a fucking civvy. And we're walking through. He went, where he's at a visit? He said, no, I can't I'm fucking try to break out. <laughs> That's Stuart Angus went. Well, he's not sitting there talking to me. He's up to say, he said, he's kidding. <laughs> no, fuck it. See me back in the hall, but just marched back into the hall with him. Uh, and uh, Koki, all the guys were all the gallery, man. Fucking fell the papa, all the tears and every man were all cheering. They didn't go behind the woods. That's how they couldn't get up every country looking for us. Aye. And they'd in the hall, we'd go behind the wood to, to hopefully get away, you know what I mean? But I can even take us to Koki. Big man. Mick, he'd done it, I know. Big Mick, Mick done it for, aye, he'd done it for sure. I'll a quick one, Sean. Sure, I after Mick came back, I was socked in. But this time, before I carried on with the thing, a governor came up and see me and went, Joe. Come to Glen Oakles for 18 months, no problem, no nothing, and I'll get you socked in. Aye. So, oh, he's not the rest of us, and Brad Taylor was hoping John and that would be fucking, you know what Aye. I mean? So, anyway, I've done my 18 months, be no many problems in Glen Oakles, and went to Socton. Oh, fucking great jail. Rotten Dubs is a great jail. And I'm in the gardens, you know, and I've been outside for the gardens, and that, I mean, I could fucking run away for the gardens and everything. But I'd rather get him and get him Aye. comfort. Aye. But anyway, a guy came down to me. He said, Joe, there's a big guy over there asking for you. He's, he's going to London for a, a bank robbery and that. It was, it was Michael. Uh, so we went round, me, Big Joe McQuaid, Danny Graham, a couple of great boys, we went round to the, the window to see Mick, and uh, he's in a boat flat, and it's a big daft long bars. Uh, you know what I mean? 
and they were blaring away. And I said, Mick, if you want, because Mick's fucking out. Uh, right, I said, right. we'll do your bars for you, uh, whatever. Right. And the fence was just on the road now. He went to get done me, and Danny Graham's went, there's a tractor there, Mick, we'll fucking tell you about it. But I done it, <laughs> you know what I mean? But he wanted, I think he wanted to get done me, like not him, you know what I mean? Right. Right. No, I know Mick, I, I loved Mick, Mick was I, I done my house with Mick, I loved we used to go gang fighting all the gang for all the boys in the case, and me and my Mick was throwing and blaring about Bruce Gold. Aye. Mick Clint's chimney, so. Mick was another guy that was, because um, obviously, do you know what, it's like, I'm just worried that you're, because it's funny and you, you see less of jail stories, and, but I'm just worried that you don't, I just hope, I'm not wanting them to watch the thing, we're glamorising it, do you know oh, what I mean? Because that's no, it. because you're obviously Mick, to to shite, you're not exactly, no, nothing, Mick, Mick had his, uh, flies, Mick had his demons and all, do you know what I mean? And mm. um, he was quite open about that as well, do you know what I mean? I love Mick, but obviously he's passed away now, but, so I'm just going to take you now, Jody, obviously, like, um, the Buckingham Palace thing, right? So how did that come about? Obviously, there's a famous story, a uh, famous photo you there with uh, the copper yeah. there that you uh, got that super was, blued. Uh, fucking mad, Johnny boy. First, he wanted if he comes up with all these mad ideas, Johnny boy, uh, and it always worked. But anyway, we're doing in London. Me and my couple of my pals were doing there, and I said, "Maybe go." He wanted me first to go up this big fucking dive crane. Was crane doing a tune for me? A big man said, "I'm terrified, right? Aye. Terrified him." He wanted me to go up there, I'm like, fuck it, I can pitch the wind. But anyway, we got down there. He said, what do you want to do? We do the pals, I was doing it, it was great. He said, uh, I've got a good new people, we'll do the pals. Fucking pals, what? Do the pals, what? We'll glue you to the gates. <laughs> Usually, they cut deals with them, and did things to the Queen, they go to the barmaking. <laughs> you know I mean, that cunt was beside her bed. But anyway, he came back with a t shirt, so I've had all that. My man, all you know I can do. Oh, everybody, all my pals, family, campaigners. And he, uh, I had handcuffs, so it was a summer, I was fucking scored, so cuffed his own gate, and then he drove the ponies, went to a super glue, so I'm cuffed him. By the way, somebody come up to me, went, your name Joseph Steele. I said, fuck, did you know that? He said, you should have been fucking here yesterday. And I was made there, I tell him it was one of the boys, and obviously somebody up the road, I end up, you know, up the road to get Dolly, and that's when Dolly came back down to us. And, uh, Is this when you rode a run? Just like, aye, aye, I did run for a couple of weeks, so poor other. Aye. And uh, uh, Ford was saying, you'd be Joseph Steele. I'd made a name to meet a reporter for the Times down there. And uh, he'd done a big spread on me on a phone call. Aye. And uh, he was going to meet me now, but it was just some, I just didn't feel right with meeting him. Aye. Do you know what I mean? And you think he'd maybe said something like Well, and when he brought me back up the road, uh, the time of Charing Cross Police Station, no, and for that night, and he asked how uh, I wanted to go up the road, the police were coming down for me for Scotland. A motor or fly. I always wanted to go on a plane, you know what I mean? Aye. And I said to my plane, plus it'd been quicker. And he went, run over that long end. And I'm there that night and, and I got a fucking pressed the bell behind me. I said, but Sam and my, hang me up the road. The pilot, if you, it was in the paper, the pilot refused to take me. He's a protester, dying. <laughs> Protesting then, on the plane. <laughs> and then these fucking four came down to Scotland, uh, Kent and another chap and somebody else. And it was something he said to me, he said, I'll tell you, there's somebody not too happy when you get back and blah, blah, blah. I went, who's the fucking governor? He went, no. Uh, he told me the, the guy's name, the reporter, I know his name, fucking mad, man. Uh, he told me his name, he said to him, I went, him? He said, aye. And he, he said, you want to meet him with you and that? So it was the only fucking him I could have done it, you know aye, what I mean? Aye, aye. So anyway, I said to him, listen, he said, what happened to you? I said, I'll put it next week. Right, this is when I fucked off with uh, the wind. I said, I'll be fucking back out next week. He went, ah, and he was laughing. I was only kidding. Aye. He was about some time. Fucking week till the day I gets back and phones the house and John the boy went, you need to get a visit out for the, the day or tomorrow. Aye. And I'd done that and he, he tell me and I was like, fuck me. And I would tell us so one wee guy, I was I just got two up with me, uh, me Bobby Lennox. And, uh, I know Bobby well, you know, Bobby's Bobby, a cracking guy. Bobby's crackers, no, I mean, they can't get two up because they're like Bobby's mad. But anyway, I'm two up, but I'd only met Bobby that time, uh, close to him now, and uh, he, he he wanted two up me, and I said, nah, I need borrow. So I know, listen, say Bobby two up with me on a fucking Tuesday or something, I'm going to a Thursday or a Friday, Aye. right? So by the time we get nearer and nearer, I'm pacing up there, I'm going to Wendy's, Bobby's like me. Joe, sit down, you don't want me in here. Aye. I went, no, so I ended up, I had to say, I said, look, and I tell him, on the day I was doing it, and he'll give me his fucking due, man. We're downstairs and, and they'll take their time now, they're saying I screw around the, the field now. Aye, aye. And I don't, Johnny and all that's all watching me doing what they're doing. And uh, I said to him, I said, me tell cancer's parcels come there, they're sort of moaning out quicker. Aye, aye. 
I mean, and we were like, what fuck's the hold up? They all started to think there's parcels. <laughs> and uh, so they raid over the cunt, apparently. I mean, he was coming down another 10, 15 fucking years, where we had to fund the hole aye, the fence, but aye. where the thing was, you better hurry up the rock, and he came cutting there. Because when we even went apart, it was a, a final with uh, uh, the, the, the football, jail football team, Cox and all them. It was a final, and there was fucking hundreds of people out. But when we opened the gate, you go, I could see the fucking hole. Aye. And it looked massive. Aye. You know what I mean? But, ah, uh, fucking, no pass. Some crazy stories, Joe, man. Some crazy stories. But, um, so I'm going to kind of take it back, right? Obviously, that was kind of your prison life, right? And obviously, it does sound as if, like, you're, like, obviously funny and you've had some good times, met some good guys. But overall, I mean, sure you overall, mad Joe, mad it's, the aye, that's it. Overall, I mean? um, the message that you would put out to anybody in the young team and that, it's yeah. a lot of shite. Oh, yeah, fucking, I'm going to get back to the night, man. I've not been a cop shop, Sean, I've not been a post more or fucking anything for the day I've been lived. Aye. For the day I clear my name, I've not been fucking, I've not, I've not been an angel, but, you know, I'm fucked, I'm 63 now, I've had the fucking I know. triple bypass, Aye. heart attacks, fucking OCPD and that, you know what I mean? But, yeah, as it is, if I could turn the fucking clock back, I don't know. I, don't I think, I think that um, you're a testament to survival, right? But it's, been sheer resilience, Joe. It's no, um, it's no been like you've been able to go in and find yourself and do a lot of personal. You've got a lot of demons. Do you know what I mean? The same oh, as I'm myself. Like you, 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 you need to. Um, I try and say this to people: you need to accept stuff, right? That's so hard to accept. It's like you need see to move on. And I try and say like, and I know you make your Paddy Hill was the same. Paddy's like Sean. I'm no fucking forgiving nobody and I'm no and uh, like that's their it. way. Like but I'm trying my hardest to move on and show like a, a side that for myself, like mm. it's not for them else, it's for me to move on. I need to move on and forgive people that don't deserve my forgiveness. But and then there's people out there that hate me and I understand why they hate me. Do you know what I mean? It's 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 fine, do you know what I mean? I get it. Um and they're entitled to that, do you know what I mean? That like they've people people the other thing is, Paul, uh, Sean, keep saying Paul because I've talked to Paul. The other thing is, Sean, uh, there's always going to be more innocent people coming behind Aye. us. Believe me, there's there no more people there in there. I know there is. I know. All they need to do today, whether it's my case, your case, or any case, fucking put your hands up. We made a mistake. Like, no fucking tweet. They, we all start these fights by day one. Why wait 20 years later and throw you the fucking pennies or whatever? Man, we give you 30 million, you're shit about it. I want no. my freedom, I want my family. I know. I'm a fucking kid, my man. It's the same as that. You can't die, man. And if you're honest, you, you, you want you want that, um, that's no, no, it's like that, it's that heat that you had before that you exactly. never was really fucked up. And you're never going to get that. I'm never going to but I came out fucking mad with drugs, everything. It's, I'm on a different planet, man. I'd, there are people coming up me, fucking using me. Aye. Taking guys for darkness. And when we go for a pint, you go for a pint, there's an atmosphere, they cause fucking Aye. trouble. And I think bringing me here, everybody's going to go, he's going Joe Steele now. I'm going in this pub, he's going to fucking name him, Joe. He's Aye. in here thinking last week. That's Aye. no fucking pub, just use you. you know no, I mean? no, and I, I'm going to take you to winning your appeal, right? Because that was obviously a huge, uh, a huge thing. So what was the appeal points you had? What, what was, can you remember the appeal points Aye. that you had that uh, you put in? See, uh, the so-called fucking verbal, I'm not the one that learned a match. Aye. They've loved to meet my masters for them in the, in the motor. Right now, every time I've been in and uh, Paul and Quest and whatever, uh, there's no comment, nothing. I've right. never done it or that, you know what I mean? Then the day they fucking charge you, they take you in the motor. And I don't know about these verbals or whatever. Neither did until we get our, our case papers now, right? No, our mm -hmm. thing was not. Diamond and uh, transcripts. If I'd have knew what they'd done to me, but they'd have been a motor, it'd be different because it was an ambulance at my close, my brown one was at the ambulance, Boy Andrews, his mom was going in there, and there I'd were a few people there. Uh, you know, walk to back up, people would walk by it. No, I'd have, said, I'd have said to them and go to them and said, Did you speak? Aye, say no, aye, used them as witnesses. Aye. They said that they were ready to drive up, they just drove away with me, and the boy up went, They pro prompted them, uh, I'm not the man to let the match. Right? Aye. The, the, the driver stopped the motor, there's four of the fucking motor. The driver stopped the motor, taking his seatbelt off and, and uh, rut it down. Right? And uh, what did they do? I want no day for whatever reason they fucking had. Well, one of our grounds was we got a criminal case rebuke. Uh, they came in there. 
and they've got a linguist, a linguist thing, they, aye. Aye, right? And they they done a hanglet, fifteen. I think it was fifteen uh, posts, uh, just aye. training posts and students, whatever, aye. right? To they tell them they're talking about them. Then they tell them uh, what case or whose case, mm -hmm. whatever. Just gave them that verbal, mm -hmm. we're talking about them, gave them the verbal. I'm not a man at learn a match. And you know they phone the motor, go every one, every spell, every pronunciation, everything identical, aye. right? No. We you in Poland here and that, I heard something, we would never have got that right. No, you hear it differently. Later, right? I know, it's... They had done like, uh, these other people had like, uh, I think only one, maybe I go that if they did. Uh, I'm not the one at the match. Uh, who let the match? We're all coming mad things they couldn't remember, but I think we didn't know what I mean. So this guy, that Chris, uh, the, the commission, the Criminal Case Review Commission, go, he said it was fucking probably impossible for aye. everyone to get it. Exactly. Aye. I mean, and that's is that the same as Tommy or you know no? Was it was it the same with Tommy? Like did he have that verbal? Aye, Tommy's like, a bit frightened or I know I mean, but his was not like a paper one. Aye. But uh but uh frighteners at uh, the shooting of Fire Boys was all a frightened or somewhere like that. And it was all word for word on that and all. Aye. Well uh Tommy's fucking up the shit like that. Did the did the coppers that that, that wrote that, did they ever get charged for like um did they ever get charged or anything, Joe? <laughs> I I read one of still going. I thought the fuckers were all dead, but one of still going, uh, and he was involved with a big. Uh, actually, kind of thing to hang me up. Mm -hmm. See, but, uh, he was in charge of a, a, a big case there, a, a triple murder case there. And mm -hmm. Solved it. No, I mean solved it. But, uh, nah. So no, 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 no. After you win your appeal, um, none of these people are chatting. Nothing, nothing. Like that's it. Just so you win your appeal, and there's there's no so consequences so. for any of the people that that put no, you in jail for twenty years. Still denying it. The council still all denying it. You know what I mean? So even though <laughs> you were proven in a court, like obviously you were proven innocent in a court. Um, I think the, the, the police make a. Did they ever apologise? <laughs> no, he fucking nuts. One wee guy did. I'm telling you, one wee guy. Was, I was at sheriff court with my pals or some, don't see that, whatever it was, and there was a wee guy in there. Uh, no, the wee guy was about the court Aye. and whatever. So anyway, kind of was up. Some was saying with whatever, and he, he turned and he said, "Fucking to me and my pal, fucking behave." Oh, well, he's looking outside or something like that, and he's looking at me. And I don't know what he was going through. I recognised him or I thought some warrant or whatever. But anyway. And he, went and, he, and he asked me my name, and I tell him, and he went, you're the boy who ring me, uh, hang me ice cream man, and Truth said something, and he went, aye, and he, he said, well, I, uh, in behalf of my, I apologise on behalf of my colleagues. My man's asked mm -hmm. what he said to me. A big guy, I think he got 18 months his cell, he did the mess right. time ever, and he was put in there, right. and me him out of the way, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Uh, and I was sort of talking away, and we were still a copper there and then, but people would just say the guy was probably better than everything, you know what I mean? But... He never had a good word for these fuckers. You know what I mean? I know it's a it's it's a shame that you've went through all this. Um, and as I say, is like you've been let down by um, services. You've never really had MD coming to ask you how you feel. You've mm -hmm. never really had MD mm -hmm. um, asking you like even apologising. You've never had. So I'm going to just take you. You win your appeal, right? And obviously, um, you get it. How do you feel going back into the community? How do how do you like Joe Steele? How do you reintegrate? Been away, as in. Because you 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 did the day Castle Huntley, you did the day Old Prison, didn't you? Not one home jail. So you seen an home jail or TFF or anything. I don't know. Mine's in close conditions. So that must I can't imagine like doing that amount of time, right? And then coming back out straight in. I can't imagine how how, how hard we, that how would be. Well, in all honesty, all through my sins, I I fucking. I could ask for any better cons, but for one end of the jail with other, honestly. You know what I mean? And oh, you're very well respected and all that in prison. See, when, and that, see when at court, uh, when, when the, at the high court and that, uh, when Lockie Craig and Aye. we get sentenced, and we're all going down the stairs, and I stayed, and I didn't move, and he's looking at me, and I said, listen, Your Honour, I said, I've been telling you for the start of this fucking case, I've never done this, I'm innocent. I said, you've just sentenced me to life for something I've never done, I'm telling you now. I never done this. I said, no, but you'll be hearing a lot more about me. I Aye. said, you'll not, you'll not hear the last of me. And then he said, no, he just looked at me. So, you know, four years later in Perth, he came up with the Derek Craig report. Remember the Craig report? Aye. There were a lot of riots and whatnot. Aye. And they came up with the Derek Craig, Craig report. I don't know how or what. Big Drew Ellen, a lot of guys have been saying, no. But I was the only one that was not fucking go. 
So anyway, I'm going my way to up, and cold case fucking made a thing made. They had a guy who said the door, screw side the door, stop and he got in, right? And everybody, all my her pals were in, Danny, Danny Paul, everybody jamming at my bra. So anyway, cold case fucking threw a bumper somewhere, doing it around the corner from the screw, and didn't see what the commotion was. And I came round the other side and walked in. Aye. You're a fucking head of pin drop. The governor's and everyone were all fucking, they were shocked, man. Aye. And uh, uh, King Craig had a, a big, uh, it's, uh, I'm a minor, a big guy for the department, I'm a anyway, big hefty boy. And uh, he's wondering why all the country went quiet. So I've been upside back with Danny and all my pals, and guys are shouting about tellies and. He was up to I know you guys see how he's still I right th- they get the and, uh, and you put your horn up and that never changes but right. aye, so aye. that's when we're playing me and that and then he's hanging about and that and the other I've done that the fucking governor's nearly fainted honestly <laughs> the boys that will, will be watching this what there is and uh, I said by the way I said the roof's not I said maybe tell he's a rabble so I'm kicking a bit of ice and this and that and tell he's not he's only that I said another fucking thing you say he's made a life for a crime in 1984 I tell you before you fucking send me I was feeling I mean I never done it I was innocent I tell you, after I was fucking innocent, I tell you, it matter how long I said, I'm telling you, fucking knew I was innocent. And then my man said, you know, he turned and said, you'll be Joseph Steele, Danny Paul. He said, that's your fucking conscience, that's how we can't forget him. You know what I mean? Because and he watched me all the way through that. Judges unit. don't usually remember. Eh, he fucking remembered. Oh, no, of course he would remember. He remembered because no. he was just as fucking bad. No. You know what I mean? So what he said to the jury? Did the, did the Crown, did they ever get in contact and say, like, we well, apologise for the 20 the years? Aye. Like, fuck, that cunt. He's a, he ended up a high court judge, Sean. He tamed one of my witnesses. See, Billy Love, it was a witness with me during my trial. He tamed that Billy Love's sister, Aggie, who was brought up with us uh, in your family all days. And she was going to, Billy Love had done the shooting and came up and tell her, bragging about his shoulder, the gun, and the rest of her. And Aggie went fucking tell uh, the lawyers, gave a statement, so whole she bang. And I had a fucking trust in her with my life. You know what I mean? Even this Aye. day, she's no well new. Even this fucking day, she's still gutted that never harm. Well, that PF tamed her. And he, I get into the PF's office, right at the High Court, and said, uh, if you're going to say this about that, your brother, listen to that, he'll get to jail when this, and she went, I'm not going to fuck, I'm telling the truth. Mm-hmm. So he didn't like that. So a lot of cunts had been backtracking all the lies that made them think me right. Aye. So Billy Love, he turned him into the office and said, you change your hangman, that. But he wasn't changing any fucking hangman. He was promised a house, money, a job, and fucking London, all that shit. Anyway, uh, so anyway, that's, he does that. We don't know about us, right? Mm-hmm. And we are waiting and Aggie come in, surely any jury's gone, the last he's not going to tell lies against her head fucking brand, but I'm all right. Next minute, Donna Flynn stones up, shuts his book, no more about this is your honour. I was the only one, I didn't know, I was the only one excited her. Mm-hmm. The rest didn't say it because I had read it, didn't need mm-hmm. everybody. Uh, what is it, it says? No more, but, no more, uh, what is your honour, blah, 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 and shut the book, every country, leave me, mum, what's happening, what's happening, what's happening? Who's that, Donald Finley? Aye. Aye. I shout to me and I said, what's that, love? Shut up, you screw with Shut up, sit down. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you after. And then came down after, came down to the cells and tell me that story about the PF, right? See, because told me that we're fucking, I think we get a grip, don't fucking do this and don't mm-hmm. hang me that cause and it's not. If you've been to see that, I mean, I'd not fucking stood up. I mean, that's fucking old pricks that hang me. I'd have been but you believe you, you, see, I don't know if you've done this, Joe, right? But when I was going through my trial and stuff, you, you kind of put your QC on a pedestal in a way that you go, he knows what he's talking about, like, um, he's, he, he knows he's got my back. Like, the way they go on, they, like, they, they, aye, they, as if they've got your back. Aye. Um, I'm going to take over a breach now, to be honest. Well, I, 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 I got, got Ad Gordon you. Jackson, and he was doing two trials at the same time, and he was like, oh, it was unbelievable, and some of the stuff, he's like, same thing, never called witnesses and stuff like no, that. Um, it's fucking wrong with and it is, it's, 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 it's dead hard to explain to the public um, how these things happen, but... I'm kind of conscious that we're to move on to like just how how much it damaged you, Joe. Because this is this is where um, this is what like I think I can relate to you in the way that and the heat shown us a lot of damage, right? But I'm a proud cunt. I don't I don't get a of people and, and get no. down and whatever. I, I, I keep I, everything's in there. Aye. Do you know what I mean? But that's a lot to deal with yourself, and um, I hope you do take up. The, the the offer of going to get a wee shot of the counselling and stuff because it definitely helped me. Do you know what I mean? No, my missus and that. All I've, I've got is my, I've got my son, that granddaughter, and my great granddaughter living. I've Aye. got my grandson. Is you know the day me he came up, and that's my life. That's my fucking buzz. And I look at me so. But I lost my oldest son, as you know, and he's so, so much as double. 
And I looked, he goes, I love you, Grant, and this and that. And I looked and I go, fuck, and he, I've even said to Donna, how the fuck do I, any sick fuckers want to tamper with day wage? Aye. You know what I mean? Just, I know. But these fuckers will get it. People that's fighting their case or getting some kind of try to earn a, 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 a robbery, try to earn a few quid for whatever, they'll get years. And these fucking people in every other country get through the door. It's, it's like the, well, we, we talk about it quite a lot on this podcast. It's like the impoverished areas, um, People are brought up uh, in a certain postcodes are brought up in a certain way. Um, maybe generational kind of crime in their family, generational trauma. Um, it's so rife that you can't like. The, obviously, you've got one side of this, the, 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 and then you've got this middle class kind of, mm. um, and it's, they're so different. But I'll even ask you this, like, because I've, I've asked this to other, other guys. How many guys did you ever meet for, like, uh, affluent areas in, in Glasgow? Did you ever meet anybody for, like, Bell's Den, Mulgai? In a jail. Aye. <laughs> I know. Yeah, uh, no, honestly, no, I can't think of anybody. I can't think yeah. I can't I mean, a couple, you maybe get the odd guy that maybe, like, white-collar crime or something, like, odd one. But I, it's, all, it's all the same areas, isn't it? Or East End of Glasgow, North End, South End. It's all, like... I can't uh, think of anybody for Bishop, honestly. I know. I know my copper stayed up there, it was involved in my case. Aye. And he died, and, and, and this is somebody went, if you know, and, and, and uh, other ones know this can't be anyway, Aye. but he died. But you see, when they, these rats all done that, I was in Pilots away and all that, and fitted us up. See, when they, they, they died, they went to jam, well, I was going, the, the, the priest or thing, maybe do the hangout. Oh, big fucking Ian, a big hang, he's uh, been a police officer for 30 years. And uh, he was involved in some hangman cases. He, he, he helped us solve the ice cream war and this and all that. See, you know, when that one was in wigs. Oh, hang me 30 years service. He worked in the East End of Glasgow because they're too fucking embarrassed I to tell people they're, they're men and whatever worked in the ice cream wars. Aye. You know what I mean? No, because it's, 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 as we say, it's like, a, it's, one of, it's like one of the most notorious kinds in Europe and it's like. Uh, okay, one of the most horrible, it's horrendous. It is, it is, definitely. And that's what they fuckers knew, where they thought they had us. And people would turn against us, and it was the opposite. I know. You know what I mean? No, which is, uh, it's obviously an amazing thing to, to, to see. And it's probably gave you the, the ammunition to get through your sentence, Joe, just knowing that you had the support. Because I think it would have been hard if I, you I, were fighting every day and, and, and cunts were against you. It would have been a lot harder. I'd end up fucking flipping. I, I, I knew what I was doing it for, as I say, which one was most of And I knew what I was aiming for. And I trusted in the fucking thing. I loved the whole my family. Aye. And I knew no matter what, and they should have fucking run anyway, they've been doing this for years, you know I mean, for this all for years. Aye, you know you've I mean? had the support and the thingy, but there's a lot of guys in prison that don't have any support, Joe. That's don't right, have, I know, that's and, um, It's a shame. There's always somebody, like, I used to always say, I'd read the paper and somebody was fighting a case, right? And we say, Joe Ball's fighting, uh, uh, Joe Ball always maintained his innocence, right? Because mm -hmm. it was fucking ice cream wars, ice cream orders. So when I'd read that, i go, I can't wait till I get that, but it's saying something like, Always maintained his innocence. Right, well, and then it go to that, and then I was always something else would always hang me up. Aye. And I always used to say, one person with balls that was listening to my case and look and see it mm. there, but out the door because it was fucking. There was n nothing. I know nothing. No, nothing. it's shocking. It's it's it's, it's shocking, Joe. And it's obviously it's so such a long time that you you spent in prison, and it obviously you become conditioned to that, and obviously you did become institutionalised. So you probably do a lot of things. Um, well, the is, when I go, I should I get help. People can't oh, believe I've no shit need their need be saying me, I've no get help. And that's what I'm saying. We were talking about uh, young women Mitchell. I think, uh, that boy, you watch him when he's going into that van when he gets sentenced. Right. That boy seed was fucking in the middle of nowhere. He was a different planet. There could have been a firing squad in front of that boy and they just legs would have just carried him right in that van. Right. Because you know the way it is, everything's just, you want to scream, man, I've fucking done this. You want to do everything, but you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't get in out. You can't even remember who you fucking so just say who was it called that? You can't even remember who's in front of you. I know. You're in a trance and you're cunts going, how does he know he's in this and that? Get him all fucking lie detectors, you know that? We lassies, but I'm like, my heart goes to be lassie and that was a fucking horrible crime. Right. But never, for day one, I've ever thought that fucking boy, see you know that? Six coppers, yeah. No. Sleep me's man, and this and that. I fucking slept my mum's 40. My mum was my fucking, my world. Right. You know what I mean? When she was fucking dying, we'd lie in her bed. These sick fuckers make out. Aye. No, I mean Skullduggery. That's how fucking what their families were. Their no, coppers no. were, their dads were all coppers. And they're fucking coppers. No and I you mean? probably see like similarities to the case, like that case and your case and how 
because how many the media probably it was media driven. Do you know what I mean? It looks as if like the media drove. That. I was fucking twenty four. Me through them all. I was only a kid at fourteen. I know. If you can only fucking uh, get a kid at fourteen to confess or fucking pull no trick Aye. or whatever, you shouldn't be fucking working as a copper. Aye. I've a always just said kid. the thing that I mean, obviously, our boy's going to need fucking help. Aye, I, no, he will. He will. Well, I, I, hope I, so. I will. I hope. Um, more and all. I hope. I know. And I think that um, you just looking at your Charles whole Manson your whole thing. Kings I think. Go off, man. I've got fucking Charles Manson up and having a fucking on his man. I know. Covers got a lot of answers. What a sick. No, it's up. horrible. But uh, so just obviously just because we were coming, coming finishing up, Joe. Right. Um, I know. Just the, kinda... the around, I was made the old angry, but I'll come back on again. You know what? Because now. I, I was in a fucking bubble where we all had drugs and whatever. You know what I mean, I let a lot right. of people doing a lot of fucking. And no, I don't think you let him do that. Okay, my helps. I my helps know the way I hang me, and I can't climb and hang me this and that, but, uh, and we're talking about a book. I never ever wanted to, to do a book, and you know the reason why, right. but I, I hang that reason, I hang me's up here now, so I'll do it. And, and I watch these things and that, no name and shame, I'll name and shame every one of you fuckers, you're less, a lot of them, me a lot. Aye. I mean, I've been fighting cunts up for years. Aye. And as for Sue, they sue me all the fucking man. All they'll get off me is my dog, my dues. And I'll have 30 fucking guys are fitted up at court anyway. Aye. We'll fuck them. <laughs> so there right, is a lot of good coppers out there, Sean. No, there is. There, there is a lot of decent that, guys out there. I know, and, you know I mean? and we say it, it's like, um, we see, obviously, like, does you get bad people in any walk of life? Any job, man, but bad we, when you get when get you get bad, um, um, you get bad. You listen, you get bad people who do bad things, and 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 they're in the jail like criminals. You get, you get but you mm. get also people don't. It's as if people don't want to recognise it. There is bad people in Aye. the police and in, in the crown, and and the, there's loads of good like, people in them. But listen, there's, there's, I'll tell you a wee quick story. Not day, but he's got more than another fucking up. There was a, a meeting in, in, in the Crown Office in a town Aye. years and years ago, right? And it was on prostitution. People Aye. using the prostitution, whatever, right? So they all hang me, sat at the PF, all the coppers and this and that, they're going to hit down in the Three days later, they go down to the, down to the hang me and catch a guy with his doors, his ankle was in a bird, the guy runs away. It was a fucking PF that was in the office doing hang me with him, know what I mean? <laughs> That's how sick the fuckers are. <laughs> I mean, but think people. I think it's just they've, they've conditioned. We're, we're conditioned as a society just to believe that this doesn't go on in these institutions. And I think when you watch even like Mark Daly on the BBC when he went down to Manchester and he went and, and as a police officer, I don't know if you ever seen that. He kind of and as a, a young police officer to show racism, to show how racist the police force was. It's actually a really good uh, mm -hmm. documentary. Um, but he just went in to show how. Racist. That it, so he went in as a as a kid, kid on. He was a young policeman going in and and just showed and stuff. And they were mm. obviously all oh, the racism was coming out and stuff like that. And it, it was it, it was pretty bad to watch. Do you know what I mean? Um, but I think people. I don't know what it is. It's just people think these institutions are don't lie and 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 they don't whatever they say on their paperwork, whatever they say. And you're like. She's trying to explain to people, look, they just they can make up what they want and put whatever they want on this bit of paper. I know. You, we can't stop them. Like there's, mm. there's no way of doing it. They've destroyed the jails. Aye. Honestly, the drugs destroyed the fucking jails. Better with no the drugs, no. I'll tell you that. Uh, they're stopped to small. There's nothing you can do in a fucking jail. You can't even protest. No, the jails are the jails. It's like an asylum now, Joe. No. It's not the same way like you'd have been. No. It's. Uh, I'm not like fucking start my sentence a day, man. I'm going to go start on the day because the evidence they get through it the fucking Monday. But jails are ruined, man. Jails are fucked. Yeah. You know I mean? And I think, see if you can just like, um, oh, I always try and do this, Joe, always just for the young team and stuff, if any of them are watching it, or anybody who's kind of suffering out there with um, kind of just mental health issues, whatever, do you know what I mean? Help. If you get a wee message that just for the I young mean, you team and that. You, you're only one fucking ever hanging with me. You, you spoke, you spoke to me, you, you were hanging and then you said, Joe, I can get up. You didn't even tell me that. I'm telling you, I even, I mean, then you came back and said to me, I've got a guy if you want to go and see him, and I will go and see the guy, right. and I appreciate you doing that. No, you know listen, I mean? man, that's, so you, you I, deserve I said it. I'd never do these again, and all the rest of it, I spoke to you, uh, and I knew, I know some of your family, and you know a lot of people, I know, right. and I'm, I'm glad I've come on here, because see, you know, Sean, I'm, I'm not going to do my book, right. and I'm, I'm going there and I'm going to fucking, it's my way, it's my grandmates, my way, I've got to grow up, mm -hmm. and they don't know it, and all their fucking grandmates will all be coppers, 
And we're all going to bed. You know what I mean? And obviously, this podcast is only touching the surface of what you can actually do in a book. Do you know what I mean? Oh. And it, it, so you've got a massive story there, Joe, a life story that that deserves to be told, and it and, and it deserves to be told for your eyes, for your perspective. But listen, I've got a couple of um, watcher Bar-a-ray. questions, right? Bar-a-ray. So this is for Busby. Um, and it just says, it's actually a book, it says, Joe, do you ever plan to write a book or make a film out of this whole ordeal? Um, I think it would be powerful reading. Oh, you know, uh, 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 what's, his, what's his name? Bob Busby, Busby. 34. Busby. I don't know what his name is, he's saying. Uh, Busby, uh, I always said I would never write a book because the Doyle family, there's nothing I could write that would, it would help them or make them feel any better. I couldn't write a book and name people. Aye. And I had a couple of guys up me and Tommy when we were uh, for the Angel Films of were and I know they'd done some, uh, they were involved with that, uh, all, uh, was it All the King's Men or something, something like that. Aye. And they were hanging me uh, the film. But they're not going to, there's, there's, I'll never get involved in a film or anything that's ever going to come up and show about drugs and ice cream mans. Aye. And whatever, because that's just, that's uh, totally wrong. No, it's, I mean. it's not. It's not actually uh, the what happened. So I think the perspective mm-hmm. is is that you need to get your story out there for you. But it, it, you can't do that in a two hour podcast. You need no, you need no, a lot of time. Well, so we spoke hopefully we get somebody. And yeah. there's a, there's obviously interest in it. Do you know what I mean? And there's people probably yeah. will, will be watching this. I've never been for. I don't care about being for it or anything like that. But I'd like to have it. My say so no, you need to say because I know when I die, they're story. all going to come out and fucking rabble. Aye. They say this, they say that, but the any or whatever, but they hadn't at the time. Mm-hmm. Nah, I can look at them, I can go in my bed, I can look at them, I can bump any of the oil family, anybody she wants, I can look at them in the eye. Of look course. Look at any one of them the fucking no, eye. Oh, definitely. Know what I mean, but the coppers can't. I know. They let that family fucking do and everybody else done. I know. So they did. Um, so this, set, this is for Donny D. Did, did they ever catch the people who done it, Joe? Uh, and do you think the police know who done it? They knew my girl was by the dawn and they knew that, uh, that, that they fucking knew that for day one. That's how they let him go. He 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 was a top man at everything all around about that area, right? He'd all the covers under his hands. Forget about they say, oh, it's fair. Paul Pettis, uh, fucking Tam Begum, we all know. Right. They had him in hand. I don't know, I think before I forget, I'll, I'll get back to the boy in a minute. Uh, Tam Begum. Tam Begum came to shots, right? Uh, 50 years for a robbery. He'd done a seven, I know he'd done it, and he'd done an arse sentence when I was there. He goes into shots, he goes into cell box, he's putting a story about all the coppers about fucking McGraw, the walk him out. Ran and tell the fucking truth and, 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 and fucking David they were going to date McGraw, whatever. They made the guy out a fucking liar, they made him a grass and this and that. I'll tell you what, Sean, the guy's done 15 years, a seven and whatever other fucking thing was. I've never heard anything in this, the whole jail system ever mention that guy being a grass. Aye. Never. And another thing, they wouldn't see his fucking face, that's for sure. Aye. So when that fell through, and uh, it was fucking kicked away, and nothing was going to happen to my girl, we were gutted again, because before it would hang me up again, and all, you know what Aye. I mean? But they were only letting fucking hang time tell me out the door, man. He kidding, because he, he, he knew it all. Aye. You know what I mean? But, um, so so that, obviously that, obviously there's never MD been caught for it, like, or no, anything, and, and uh, I say do that you think that MD will ever get hanged for it? No, because no. I said to you something, and I've said to the boy Donnie, the four people that done it was the ones who went up with clothes, came down and came into the motor, threw away and fucking wrecked it, stopped the motor and crashed it. I don't, to my knowledge, I've never ever been questioned. I know I've never, never been charged, that's for sure. Aye. That was the four. I, I knew their names at the time, I don't care about who they were. Aye. What they done, they'll never need to worry about me or people that fucking like, oh, they're like, knows. Aye. And it's in the know. Aye. Uh, and they'll never get done anything. It'll never happen again. No. Too many lies been told, too many fucking rules have been broken. And too many people fucking, it's never going to happen. Sorry, no justice for the dollars, I'm afraid. That's doing it, they fuck pigs. No, I know. Um, and the, the last one, Wal, Walred, the, do you feel as if you're now over the whole thing or does it still haunt you eh, all those years that you were in prison for a crime? Think for the day of the new pal, it's haunted me. Please believe me, it's haunted me. I can't get out of my fucking head. Uh, I can t- I could, what, if, it, if everybody was the same in there, I would know the guy with a form of the jury, everything, all the words, everything would stop my head, Sean, as I spoke to you about. My missus, I, I've never spoke to any of my family about all the hangmen, you know what I mean? The ice cream was, whatever. It's just fucking stopped my head like a record player, you know what I mean? I think, um, and I'm innocent, so, but the fuck's it doing to the coppers? I know. 
No, you know definitely, I mean? definitely. But um, fancy anyway, Paul. But no, I, I never fucking forget it. Um, so just that last wee message, Joe. Obviously, just to the kind of young team, just to let them know uh, what prison's actually like, how bad it actually is, um, and what that life that if you get involved in it, where it actually leads you. No, it doesn't lead you to my fucking time. But I, t I tell all the young guys, I, I know all the young boys in, in your family, and, I, and I'll see them, and I'll tell them it's a fucking mugs game. Aye. I don't care if it's all money, drugs, or whatever. Aye. You know what I mean? If I knew, knew I'd be back then, what I knew, knew I'd never have been in fucking prison, I'd rather have joined the army. I know. You know what I mean? No, I think it's when the older you get, the wiser you get, and you get, um, you just see, you see it for what it is. It's, it's, it, it leads you to prison. One of the young kids I've got to remember now is, they can't find, they can't, if they walk down the street in the day, some, every sign door's got a, a doorbell camera. Aye. There's cunts running out with phones and bid on you. Aye. And saying, oh no, we're a fucking planet. I think we just stabbed souls. What you see this? Aye. You fucking kidding me? They're, I'd rather get a job. No, definitely. But listen, Joe, yeah. it's been uh, absolutely brilliant having you I'm on. Enjoying um, days, I'm enjoying my day. If you want on yourself, I, I've been definitely. doing a good laugh. No, I've and been I've enjoying not done it. that much lately, mate. I've been fucking depressed. Aye. Uh, he don't matter. I listen. I know. Hopefully, we can get that looked at. And uh, hopefully, like, I do honestly believe that. Um, going to see Mojo and going to see the, the counsellor that I, they believe that will say you know, and obviously we'll look at we're going to look at trying to see if anybody's interested in taking on uh, your life stories about and I think there'll be plenty of people interested in it but no honestly and I, if we can get you back on again for something else obviously we've got different things in the pipeline different projects uh, sometimes it's good to get different people in at the same time so maybe we can sort something out and get um maybe even like you I'll and do long, a couple of people i'll go and start doing a couple of things i enjoy the things i'm watching and, and i sit in the room like i do my mate she says yeah you're back in the neck i'll sit in the room and i watch these programs uh uh tick tock and all that or some fucking crazy ones honestly man. i love it they're brilliant man. so have you got anything in the pipeline that you're kind of are you going to if you get any projects or anything like or are you just kind of waiting to see what happens I would, I would, I would, no matter what, I'll do the book anyway. I and I'll consider it up or I'll or, or whatever, but I'll do it. And uh, whatever thing means, probably whatever comes up. Comes up you know I mean? No. I, like, just, I just don't want it to happen to any other person, any other kid. Aye. You know what I mean? Tom used to say a thing, T used to say a thing. Uh, you had, uh, what was it, a Maguire Sim, I think it was. Aye. And, uh, uh, Paddy Hill and that Burnley and six. And then the six, then you had the song. Cardiff three. And, and five, aye. and the four and the three and the two, and the next could be you. You know what I mean? And, and it's happened to you anyway. But I know. You know that? It's, it's a... Horrible, fucking horrible. I think thing, people think, to be honest, your case is the last big case that um, people were acquitted. Really? When you look, I mean, there's been a couple, Craig McCree, uh, mm. I mean, a couple that I know you, but no big cases that I know. So what they're, what they're saying is that they have got oh, a 100% record in the last 10 years of getting everything right. Uh, one, uh, one PFC did uh, uh, run about our case at a time and uh, he would rather let a hunter, 100 convicted people go than one innocent man go to jail. Tony Blair said, Tony Blair said it. Tony Blair said that it was a QC. He's fucking daft, I know. He said, he said that it was <coughs> 10 people. He said that he said, I'd rather see no. 10. Well, this Procurator Pisco says that if, if he had to let 100 go, he'd let them go. Lie it's up. horrible when you hear, I know, and it's, um, I don't know. It's just, it's a system that's just broke and it's, it needs fixed and, mm. I don't know. It's, I look, you and look, they say, uh, uh, I tend to lie detector and all that, I know. Aye. Fucking didn't even ask a guy his own because I knew I was clearing it. Aye. And we looked at him in the jail and that, and uh, I bet they're this and that, but good enough for the fucking FBI, it should be good enough for air rats. I know. You know I mean? Oh, I know, definitely. It's not senior answer, but it's a guy to fucking, you know what I mean? Aye. But no, uh, they, they gave him a, a, a cop a fucking guy's got a lie detector and blocked me. <laughs> you know what I mean? A fucking block. <laughs> But no, thanks, Joe, honestly. Pleasure having you on and hopefully we'll have you back on again. Thank you.